Quieter the music. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Today. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm Hello, Mr. To... Snape. <laughs> mm. Today we're going to do some character design. Um, so we're going to combine life drawing <laughs> with birds. What could there be? Emily's in the house. Captain Kreuznavel is in the house. Hello! Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we did a poll on our Discord. I think everyone that says hello so far did vote. Tumbleweep is there. Yeah, Tumbleweep. Um, for some funky, funny, creative challenge instead of just a regular live drawing. See how unbiased that I'm saying that? <laughs> Um, I am saying it really unbiased and everyone except for Kevin voted for <laughs> the funny funky challenge So that's what we're doing. Repka is in the house. Hello Repka. All right, so um, Yeah, you know, you know how it works the times actually not there time how, how much time are we gonna spend on that like 15 20 minutes 20 mm -hmm. mm. All right, so 20 minutes for each pose, and you see the bird reference. Yeah, we have two references. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to combine that. Now we'll get a new pose, actually. Ooh, that's actually perfect for birds. Ooh, that's also perfect for birds. Oh my god. I thought we were going to do like angels with night armor and everything. Well, you can do whatever. Sure. The famous winged creatures or bird men. <laughs> Bird people, also that. Is that right, Kreuznabel? That's okay, Kreuznabel. Um, okay, wait. I hope I you're think, fine with doing do a one. cool, funky challenge. Hmm. Mm. Okay, now wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are eating um, homemade raspberry banana ice cream right now. Sorry for the this is cool. noise. Ah, Kasha says yes, I would have voted for that anyway. Thank you. Well, I'm just happy that everyone loves this as much as I do. <laughs> mm. So, here we go. This will be the first pose by me. <laughs> Kevin, you're super motivated right now. You, the whole day he was just like gnawing on my ear like, Oh my god, I'm so looking forward to the stream. I really want to stream today. I can't wait till the stream actually starts. And now... He's a bit shy. That's okay. No worries. Mm. All right, twenty minutes, guys. Let's do this. Twenty time my notes. Oof. So combine it's it so as good as you can. 
Weird. Uh, Alia just had food. And she just pooped. But not here. Not here, but she okay. did poop here. What does it smell like? Uh. <laughs> Urine? Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. It wasn't me, so uh, <laughs> I, I posed this question to the room. Does it smell like what? Pee. Like pee pee? Mm. I don't think there are any. That would make any sense because she just made pee pee outside. But I mean, she just pooped outside as well, so I don't know. And she still pooped in here. Mm. You know, old, old, old dogs old dog thing. Things. Yeah. I don't think there's anything. Else. No, it's probably fine. It's just like this. I mean, I feel, I feel like the food smells exceptionally. Strong today. I did smell her food. It's not her food. That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Um, I can't smell anything. Maybe it's the raspberry ice. Raspberry. Oh yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? She's just like he knows. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So, how is everyone? How are we doing? How are we feeling like? On a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is super awesome and amazing, and 1 is I literally want to die. Um, <laughs> how do you feel? What's the score? It's awkward. Sorry, I have to adjust. Ah. We're done. I would say I'm on a strong... Solid five, yeah, that's good. I think I'm like on a f six and a half, maybe? Or like seven. Mootier, hello! Sun at five. Well, it's pretty neutral. <laughs> That's good. How are you? I, I was gonna say I, I, have, I have no strong feelings one way or the other. So it's a five as well. I think a bit better. I'm just so tired. Hmm. I mean, the house says probably an eight. Now well, the work day is over and I can hang out with you guys. Wow, the music is a bit. With music. I have Funky. no idea. That's good. An eight. Damn, Emily House. Well, yeah. Thank you for joining us on your free time after work. It's so cool. I mean, I guess it would be a bit naughty to join us while you're working, but I mean, I wouldn't really mind. Can we? I don't know it's so loud anyway. Hmm. Nice. Kevin, how are you on the scale from 1 to 10? Pretty good. Seven. Pretty good, what's Pretty that? Pretty good, I <laughs> know what's that. Um, a solid 6.1. I would say hmm. I'm probably, right now, it's probably a 5 as well. 5 as well, okay. Five, yeah. So I'm with two very neutral boys today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, to be fair, I just spent a, like a couple of really lovely days. I had a wedding that was actually fun. A wedding. So a wedding. Weddings are no fun. This Never. One, this one actually was. Mm. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> also, I just got sent some photos then that I can show you later or. Yeah. That's cool. For now, but not to chat. Just just not to chat. Privacy. Completely go wild with this one. Mm. I actually, for a split second, I forgot I put milk into my coffee or my, my, my cup and I was pouring my coffee and suddenly came up not pure black but like a brackish brown and what happened? Is that mm -hmm. where the pee was? Oh my god. That's where the pee was. <laughs> Repka says, I'm going with an 8 as well. Got a good grade on a big project today. Oh, nice. Nice. What project was that? Tell us about it. Well, I think I was on my whole life. I attended two weddings so far. One was of my dad when I was literally like four, so I don't really remember that much. The other one was of my ex-boyfriend's sister's boyfriend's sister. <laughs> Jesus. Wh wow. Yeah. Ex-boyfriend's. So the 
sister's yes. boyfriend's sister. So the first person in that in that um, in that role, do they know the last person? No, uh, they didn't know me until the day that I came to their wedding. But I was invited <laughs> specifically. I, I was invited. I was just wondering if you you could do like maths and you you uh, <laughs> cut out like a couple of these and you just mentioned, oh yeah, it's that guy. But yeah. instead we have like this long line of, of connections. Yeah, I know. <coughs> they they were like um, wait, I think they were from Croatia or something. So like they just really make sure that everyone extended family oh, wise okay, is okay. invited like you know the parents of my boyfriend were there and like all mm. the other sisters and siblings and they're like plus ones basically yeah it was just yeah we we talked about um like different kinds of weddings where uh the wedding i attended had 50 people attending mm. and they wanted to have 70 but because of corona they couldn't mm. and they went up uh, maybe 70 would have been too much anyway mm. Mm. and then we talked about some weddings that have Dif different cultures, different customs, mm -hmm. but some some weddings where you have like seven hundred people attending. Yeah. There. So yeah, and they happen like every other week. I mean, if you know that many people, yeah, they're probably it's like the birthday paradox. Yeah. If you know that many people, they're gonna marry eventually, like probably next week. Mm. There's somebody else going to marry. So every two weeks, there's like a seven hundred people wedding. That's crazy. That you can attend if you're in that circle. Which oh, that would be too much for me. A what wedding. Yeah, this wedding, I mean, I'm really grateful that they invited me and they didn't even know me and it was nice. I think they liked it, which was the most important thing. But for me, it was just very random. Like, I feel like the most one of the most awkward things about weddings is that everyone dresses up in these like weird polyester gowns that they never wear on any other occasion. And then they walk around in these shoes that they can't really walk in, at least the women usually do. And it's just like so... It's like a costume ball but just with bad costumes <laughs> you know I what i mean it's just like i know what you mean it's a bit awkward it's like oh yeah i haven't worn this dress for 10 years but i'm gonna put it on today because there's no literally no other occasion when i'm gonna wear it again mm. so it's like i don't know it's not for I me i get it i mean <laughs> for, for for us men it was like uh, yeah it's a costume party party but you all get one costume yeah you get a suit and ill-fitting shoes it's about that <sighs> To be fair, there were a lot of people who just wore a vest. And okay. I, I thought, oh, am I am I overdressed actually? Uh, Did yes. I? I got rid of it as soon as the the groom allowed it. Mm. It was also 26 degrees in a full suit. So wow, shit. yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. It was so funny, yeah, because when we were on this wedding, it was actually pretty boring for us as well. I mean, sorry to say that. I really don't want to like. No, it was just usually my usually they are boring, but this one was fun. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that weddings in general are, are fun, and you just don't know how to have fun. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, I think it depends on the setup because that's what we were talking about. Basically, the whole wedding, like under our breaths to each other, just like how, like if we would ever have a wedding at some point, like, you know, just what would that look like? And I was just like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna have like a cool game corner where everyone can like play games and no one needs to, like, no one should wear shoes they can't walk in. No one should wear like any particular polyester gowns and any particular color. They should just wear whatever. Maybe it's like a cosplay event, like Holy a little shit. cosplay, <laughs> like a costume thing, I don't know. And for food, that would just be like, I don't know, literal just like, spaghetti with tomato sauce but like really good one you know and like I don't know mm. just and so like fun activity like actually fun activities for the guests they mm. don't have to sit at those round tables with people they don't know and like do awkward to chatty things and stuff mm. just like mm. just like maybe there are some alpacas or like like a like, yeah. a, like a petting zoo but like of course like not the animals don't get like abused or whatever they're just like around and if they want to be pet they can but they don't have to be pet you know what i mean you know yeah, so uh, and, on the says topic, and I'm, I'm getting getting like a taste of that please invite me that sounds amazing yeah you'll be invited also no family members that you don't like sorry but i'm not gonna have that on my wedding sure if i'm at, i mean i'm not really planning to get wet anytime soon or ever maybe so um i don't know Emily in the house says they just wore a vest and nothing else. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. It was wild. Just the it was a wild it wedding. Was wild. What about a pool party wedding? That would be cool. Only birthday suits, essentially, plus vests. Yeah. Vests over over a birthday suit. That's that's a, that was a dress code. Mm. No, the the groom actually wore his entire uh, suit, including a vest. Uh, mm. He said he was almost passing out before they made their vows. Oh my god. Sitting down, he said he was seeing like orange lights pop up in front of his eyes and he was See? concentrating so hard to not just 
go unconscious. Yeah. That, that was I didn't notice it. I was looking at them for most of that. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time during during the um, mm. the speech of the what you call the um, the person that reads the it wasn't a church wedding, so it was was a uh, government official essentially. Mm -hmm. But she was super nice. Uh -huh. So put some book quotes in there and make reference to how their relationship has developed and everything it was it was actual fun to listen to a government official in this situation. That's so. cute. It's nice when they like that into it as well and spending that much time to you know yeah. get into it. Oh also uh, we all painted something for them. Ooh. So at some point uh, one of their colleagues went mm. around and gave people these little snippets of a bigger image and mm. they you looked at them and looked kind of abstract. Mm. I guess part of that was it was horribly pixelated mm. but it actually helped. Mm. And then there was a canvas which had um, numbers ranging from 1 to 16 mm. and the snippet you got also had a number. Mm. So you were supposed to go through that canvas, mix some paint and then paint your your snippet mm -hmm. onto the designated pile. Mm -hmm. In the end, it was a full image painted by a bunch of guests. Aww. It was really cool. It actually, it actually looked cool. Yeah. I didn't take a photo, but it should happen. There should be one. I saw it in, the, in there. It's in their house. Mm -hmm. It's like a bunch sweet. of zebras um, eating grass. Okay. They were super colorful for some reason. Mm -hmm. And half of the people actually didn't get to draw. Uh, well, they didn't didn't draw necks for some reason. So the zebras all have floating heads. Oh. So I got to draw, I, my, my, my piece had like three bars, I thought. I was looking at them, okay, that's three bars. And then two of those were legs. Mm. And the third one was supposed to be like a zebra's head from, you know, looking oh, yeah. at it from behind mm. and at the weird. bottom side. But it just looked like, like a blob because it, was, it wasn't a, like a photorealistic rendering of a zebra. It was yeah. just, you know, some, like a children's interpretation. I'm sorry for the artist if you're listening. Mm, you're probably um, not. Probably not. But the person who painted the piece above mine didn't even imply a neck. Oh. So there's this this readily floating bulbous black and white element next to <laughs> a red and yellow leg next to a yellow and blue leg. Wow. It's it's kind of bizarre. It looks like a like an animal that doesn't have a neck at all. Yeah, this is bizarre. <laughs> Trying something like this, it looks super weird, man. Yeah. Oh my freaking god. Why doesn't she have arms? Well, because she has wings. Yeah. Well, aren't the wings on the back, though? But how, 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 does, how does that work? Listen. That's too boring. Actually, no, they mentioned it. Like, an anatomically correct bird person would be an interesting take. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'll go for I wonder, yeah. Does he need, like, a really long torso and two sets of pectoral muscles? Hmm. <laughs> or like scapulas on the front? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Oh my sounds cute. Something like this <laughs> sounds horrifying to <laughs> be sliding things on your torso. <laughs> You'd have huge like muscles, right? Yeah. Oh <laughs> Wow. Oh they might not be huge, but they would probably cover a big area. Because like a big muscle isn't going to do much because you need leverage on the arm if you want to go and find it correct, right? The, there should be some kind of bone here and then there's like a huge attachment. Okay. I mean, you, you, you have a second draw if you want to go for that. N no, barely anyone ever does, right? But I feel like it's, it's one thing to make angels pretty creepy looking aside from going for the biblically, biblically accurate angel. Hmm. Just have, have I these did. horrifying long painted torsos where it's like all like like a row of pectoral muscles. Hmm. Just kinda of looking there kinda of, kinda of strangely. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm gonna save that idea to amaze ideas because I want scared of blue angels. Mm -hmm. So Lars. Yes. If your yes. wedding was in a month um, what oh god! Oh my god! Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes? What would one activity be that you would definitely include? And what would one activity be that you would never include? What would one activity be that I would definitely include? <coughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I just... I just... Uh, hmm.
I mean, as for the never, that's quite the bandwidth, right? There's a lot of things you, you could do. Yeah. I, I don't know if I would... I don't think I would I would have any forced group activities. Okay. Because I think that you're going to have a couple dozen people there. Hmm. And not everybody's going to be into everything. So, like, having... Okay, everybody's going to do, Dungeons you know, like, like a fishing games or... Yeah, or beer pong and it's like a tournament everybody has to join or mm. I don't know. That feels like like a like a bus killer. If you know your people, that's fine. I mean but if you have a wedding with like twelve people. Yeah. Then you can ask in advance and that should totally be fine. Mm. Something I like about this wedding is that the only thing that was actually planned was eating cake and eating dinner. Hmm. Every other activity, like from I guess the photographer also planned for something, but yeah. Mm. Everything else was kind of planned by the guests, which I really like. Like, there was very little time that was dictated. It was mostly just make your own fun. And the people that were invited were actually fun. So just talking to them and just figuring out what you wanted to do uh, was already a lot of fun. Hmm. And I guess I, I'd almost go, like, decor with with your idea of having, like a, like, a game room to the side. I feel like having, I mean, depending on, on the people I invite, and there would be quite a few that would be into this. I'd totally have like a Smash Brothers tournament thing going That's on. That's right, yeah, like Smash Brothers, or like you, have, you could have like, you know, table, like ping pong tables, mm. and like, tables. you could have a boulder wall for, for your, your crew, you also, know. Also something drawing, like some something collaborative would be really cool, I feel like. Yeah, oh my god, I imagine like some, some like, you, you would have your wedding like in a park. Or like ideally like on a um, private property kind of like lawn with like trees and shit and you would have all these different setups for stuff mm. like a boulder wall and like a ping pong table I yeah. was actually I'm repeating myself you know but like then there's a food station and maybe there's like some you know somewhere as a house with I guess a kitchen and toilets and maybe mm. there is the, the tournament at the TV or whatever and then there's like a Dungeons and Dragons picnic. Holy shit. Dungeons and Dragons wedding. <laughs> yeah, and maybe there's like a costume contest. And you I just don't know. want like a mini con to happen, right? Yeah. Like a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I do. laughs> you guys didn't see, but he, there was this light in her eyes, just kind of, kind of flared up. Just yes, yes. that is precisely it. Then, then there's like a corner where you can like tie dye and upcycle your clothing. If you're not satisfied with your current outfit, you could totally like maybe there's even like an exchange, like a, like a flea market kind of situation. I don't know, just mm. like like yeah. a fair slash, I don't know, something like that, something Sh fun. Sure, yeah. yeah. I guess you've been happening. Oh dear, oh god. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, what happened? Okay, wait, and the house says, this is what I'm gonna say, for me, the best thing about wedding is all the food and booze and dancing. Okay, fair enough. At meeting random new people. All right, that's literally what I'm scared of the most, so. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Aha, oh sorry, can I question? I didn't need to break your concentration, huh? I don't know, it depends on my mindset, I guess. But sometimes I'm just like really not into the mood of. Oh my god. <laughs> so cool, Kevin. I mean, just a tease check. Can I just show you my favorite picture that I was sent? It was just three pictures, but this is this is the most amazing photo ever. Aww. Such a good photo. That's cute. I'm so happy. Aww. Um, That's really sweet. Yeah. That's cool. I'm just getting kind of teary eyed just looking at it. Oh boy. Huh. Yeah, and an activity that I would not include, what would that be? Like a lot, actually. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> like not these stupid, um, I'm sorry, not these these typical wedding games. The, the do you know your husband game w w where they ask like questions and you have to like, you know, they're like, what's your husband's favorite, or like, what's each other's favorite color? And you have to mm. write it down and like lift it at the same time. And then you're like, oh my god, you're wrong. Or something like that. I don't know. None of that happened, by the way. The newly wet game. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like none of the the embarrassing things actually happened, mm. which was amazing. Apparently, um, people roast the groom. Like the, mm. there's an actual roast sometimes. Like the the speech that the best man is supposed to make is supposed to be somewhat embarrassing and everything, and mm. it's supposed to like you know, just bring up stories from their childhood and stuff like that. Well, lucky for him, I was his best man, so. <laughs> I didn't do that. You were nice. Yeah. I think your time's almost over. Oh no? Yeah. <gasps> but that was oh, she, cool. She has a sword! 
But she has a rapier, no? Uh, it's, it's actually called a rapier. Sorry. Is Which it is really? Like, oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, I thought rapier sounded way nicer. Rapier. Rapier. Let's just call it that. <laughs> rapier. No, it's, it, it has a very unfortunate pronunciation. It's quite a horror to listen to. <laughs> What's with her head? There's, there's, uh, it kind of, it. it's like a bean. <laughs> atmosphere. That's actually a design that, that you can see in, um, Stepan Sage's, uh, what was it called? Um, Stepan Sage's, I forgot the name. It's a, it's a comic by that guy, in any case. Mm. Um, the Not the angels, but like the messengers of the gods, mm -hmm. for some reason have wings on their head. But they don't quite connect. Like they, they're, they're kind of more symbolic, but like people have flight and it's mm. represented by having wings that come out of their head. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a cool that. image. Absolutely. It's kind of like the reverse Darkstalker. Mm. Da Darkstalker, jeez. Darkstalker. Stalker. Thing where they have wings that they're like on their lower backs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Love it. Well, in reverse, but like, it's like a like a. Um, no, it, sh it looks like a cyclope. Like it only has one eye. What's the, what's the name of, of the, the plague doctors? Yeah, plague doctors mask almost. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Sorry for the breathing. <clears throat> Did you know? Did you know? What the purpose of the long beak was? Yeah, there was like herbs inside it, no? Yeah. Mm. It's subscribed to the miasma theory of, of, of uh, disease transmittance where bad smells transfer disease. So I mean, they're not entirely wrong. They, it definitely helped having mm -hmm. something that was actually sealed. It's so. like a mask, you know, like a face mask. Mm -hmm. We're in a pandemic. Like Speaking of which, <laughs> something. So, Corona ruined many things. Um, okay, I can't actually t turn the corner here, you know, among lives, but yeah. Um, ruined quite a few things. Uh, oh, that's cool. And I was, see, I, I, was, I was looking at one of the Warcraft designs of the trolls before. Mm -hmm. So the trolls in Warcraft, they were um, face masks, essentially. Mm -hmm. And they have like holes for their, their tusks. Mm -hmm. But they also bind them underneath their noses. No. So they look like, you they know, look like, like they're not wearing their mask correctly. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Just, I can't take this design seriously anymore. Damn you, Corona. All right. <laughs> Trolls were cool. That looks cool, Kevin. That looks so cool. Very cool indeed. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Actually, right. I'm just gonna do a quick Instagram post that we're live because Twitch is probably not gonna report that we're live again because Twitch is a piece of yeah. actual you know what so I So Eileen is actually able to talk while she's drawing mm -hmm. um, and I do have to call my stepfather because it's his birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that for the next 10-ish minutes. So I'll guys, back how much do you like this? Hmm? Be honest. On a, on a scale from one to amazing? One to one. One to one. <laughs> one is bad and two is, is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, no. Oh, can, can I? No, I shouldn't, right? No. No, no. Um, can you just like put your thumb in here like that? So, uh, guys, I would actually like to know. Also, Seven. do you like? Um, are you social? Are you um, <laughs> introvert or extrovert? Ooh, yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Because I think I'm introverted. You're introverted, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I would say I'm introverted as well. That's why the internet streams work surprisingly well for me because even though I'm interacting with you, I'm not really <laughs> interacting with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds a bit sad, but it's actually nice. I actually really like the Zoom calls, the Zoom call we had on Playgrounds, because that was... That was a good mm, best of both worlds kind of thing, no? Mm. Mm. Also, I, I know what's pro what the problem is actually with the internet. Oh, what is the problem? Because I still have my VPN turned on. Oh, no. It takes a lot of bandwidth. Ugh. It's okay. Guys, I'm eating my ice cream. I made ice cream. 
Um, That's yeah. perfect. I really like that. Okay, all right then. Checking out the. There's so much. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's from the from the thing, right? Okay. I don't think it was <laughs> Maybe it was. Uh, so, Kasha says, introverts, that's why I love your wedding ideas, much more the type of wedding, yeah, I'll see, and drunk squirrel, I don't know, drunk squirrel apocalypse, that's like a tongue twister, love the contrast with the background, and introvert as well. Mm. Interesting, yeah, then we're, we're a crew of introverts. <laughs> crew of introverts, like I really like the boat and all, but it takes me a lot of energy sometimes to actually be at the boat and interact with people even though i like everyone and i'm like interested technically in meeting them but it's just a bit much sometimes yeah i don't know but that's okay you know i think for me it's different sometimes i'm i'm sometimes i feel like an extrovert mm. and sometimes i don't feel like an extrovert i, I don't know what how, uh, like mm. wh why that is i mean i feel like the technical uh, what's it called like how you, the definition of it would be that an introvert loses energy when being around other people and an extrovert doesn't lose energy when being around other mm. people so it like doesn't like decharge the battery whereas introverts need to like recharge after being with a lot of people and i feel that's i mean it's obviously a, like a spectrum there's I, I guess there are the extremes on both ends but not like for me i feel like i'm somewhere Definitely more on the introverted side. Oh my god, that's actually funny. I don't know if I could pull that off in 20 minutes. Yeah, just do it. Can I flip this? Yeah, just press F5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take these two. Um, yeah, it's a spectrum. And. about to say it's a spectrum mm. Emily spectrum. in the house says hmm, I think I'm probably an extrovert to be honest that's cool mm -hmm. um, bias I think an extrovert is drunk oh drunk squirrel apocalypse, apocalypse. yeah welcome cool welcome welcome I think I've never seen you here before that's true me neither lovely drawing and painting brush oh it's white I don't want that yeah, for me it also depends on the group of people. If I'm around my friends, then usually it's fine and I don't get decharged as quickly. But if I'm around people I don't know, then it happens quite. Should I should I make it zoom zoom in a bit? Yeah, sure. Captain Koch now, I can easily approach people, I don't know, but at parties and sometimes even events with close friends, I want to get out after half an hour. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm not, I'm not a shy person, I would say. I'm just, like the energy thing, that's just mainly the thing that's the, the issue for me, if you would call it an issue. Hmm. It depends on the party, I guess. Sometimes it's very wholesome, sometimes uh, I don't feel like I belong there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely different every time. Oh my god, that's so cool. This mm. bird is so weird. Do you know what kind of bird it is? I have no idea. I just found it on Pinterest and I was like, I need to have you included in what <laughs> I'm doing tonight. Oh, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to start large with the bird head and then yeah, that's good. make it lasso. Smaller. Drunk squirrels apocalypse. I've been here a few times, but oh. I think I've never wrote anything though. Ah, I feel like I've seen your username somewhere. That rings a bell all of a sudden. Hmm. <laughs> this looks so cool. By the way, guys, is the uh, connection to the stream alright? I'm just wondering because we have drop frames and. I'm not sure like how acute that problem is. Mm -hmm. Did you start the time? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, just let us know if there's a problem. I'm not yeah. quite sure. Oh, it's so cute. How cute, how cute. 
also props to everyone who actually did the daily challenges. Oh yeah, for everyone, uh, we have a Discord server. I feel like, you know, I don't know how many watches we have right now, but you probably are on the Discord already. Yeah. But if you're not, check out our Discord. Um, you can join there, and we have a daily challenge going on right now um, with Ned, Nick drawing or doing thumbnails, mm -hmm. like five or six thumbnails a day. I've already skipped a day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Okay. There was a lot to do, yeah. but I mean, everyone has a lot to do, so it's. No, no there. Are, I feel like there are ex excuses. Yeah. yeah, but I will do it today. Me too. I still have to do it as well. Um, but it's actually quite fun, and a lot of you have joined in already, and it's super cool to see. Mhm. Mm um, it's just nice, and it's it's. I feel for me, it's like. It ups the motivation to keep going so much when you're a little bit accountable through this group, even though it's a bit random, but it's like still it feels good to post it. And okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now. No, I'm gonna lie the shit out of it. The shit. Is this in frame? Do we know? Okay, cool. Oh, it's not really in frame. Okay. Um, you can just wait, wait, wait. Just make this. Yeah. Okay. Um, more like. Yeah, like this. Okay. This, I mean, it doesn't have to be completely in frame, but yeah. Good. Thank you. For the lady, um, there she is. I think we can't close it like this. I need the time because oh, it's stopped now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Yep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Also, we have a stream. We'll probably not draw as well. Why not? We have to press Control D. I thought I already did that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, technical support here. Tech. Lars. Hello, Lars. I'm to say hello from my mother to you. Hello. Hello back to your mother. Hello, Lars's mother. I'll, I'll, I'll convey the, the hellos. Well, yeah. oh, she's down. Yeah, I hung up. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hung up the phone. That's horrifying. Yeah. Already. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> what? <laughs> This this is like this. So <laughs> we had this this art meme almost going on a couple uh -huh. years ago, back when we were still studying. Where okay, what if what if certain you know there's like eyes for prey animals and and eyes for predators. Yeah, like on top. On oh the yeah. Side. yeah, yeah. So this thing looks like it's a predator because you can see both eyes from the front. Oh yeah. You can actually see the left eye from the right side. That's even worse. But it's super derpy looking. It is. But the way it looks at you, it looks like it, it, it wants to eat you. That's <laughs> oh my god, yeah. We're, we're actually shopping, you know, predator eyes on, on prey animals. And, yeah. and sheep are horrifying. Like having these weird <laughs> oh eyes with the slits in the front. Oh in my the god, front. I have to see that. Oh it's, it's really mean because, you know, you see these animals that have like the eyes all the way to the sides. Mm. If you move them through, through the middle, the faces are unnaturally long. Mm. They look absolutely horrifying. This, this is something out of horror horror movie <laughs> listen there is a horror movie called sheep and it mm -hmm. uh, takes place in Australia where there are I think three times more sheep than people and it's about some sort of research um, you know place where they did some experiments of course and something escaped and then infected the sheep and then the sheep are just going crazy and killing the humans is it That's Australia or is it Ireland it's Australia I think Ireland is also a thing but I'm th pretty sure it was Australia and they have a lot of sheep in Australia I know mm. that Crazy. Yeah, it was oh a really boy. weird movie, and like the, um, as far as I remember, like the, you know, the DVD cover or the movie poster of that was just like a black room with like a door frame where the door was like slightly ajar, mm -hmm. and there was like light coming through and a sheep standing, and you would just see like the oh, silhouette yeah. of the sheep in this door, you know. I think I've <laughs> seen the movie actually. <laughs> it's like there's also like I mean spoilers uh, if you don't want to know what actually happens, but there's like a. Um, 
like a worship. Oh no! At some point, a worship. Heard the one before. Yeah, like a worship. Okay, like worship. Like yeah. a human sheep Werewolf. situation. Where? Yeah, where sheep? Yeah. Where sheep? I don't know how to say that. But like, someone gets bitten and they turn into like this <laughs> abomination of whatever That's that is. That's hilarious. Sounds like a very horrifying se series. Horrifying. Yeah. Horror. Horrifying. 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 So I'm out already, right? With drawing, we do twenty minutes. So you both will do two times, and I just one. Why? Because it's otherwise too long. Not in the mood to draw sure. today. Sure. Sure. Oh, I do this all. I'm not in the mood today. I don't know why. Actually, I really like the streams, but today I was a bit unmotivated. That's okay. No worries. That happens. Like I remember the two weeks ago the stream where I was so tired and I was screaming in my car two two hours before the stream started, so I wasn't really like in the best of all moods either. But still, the streams. Oddly satisfying. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that's that. Oh God. It's just fun to hang out. With I'm you. so tired. I was basically just following um, uh, Sean's advice. You know, failing is fun. <laughs> just yeah. tried my luck at a bouldering wall for an hour straight and didn't manage to do it. But yeah. next time it'll be easier. Next time I'm just gonna flash it. I just know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. I feel like I want to make it androgynous. Sure. We don't know what. Also, I was sure. I, I have the right idea to, to tape my thumb. This looks better now, but there's like an actual crater in my thumb from the from the start, doing it over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> Failing is fun, Failing guys. Failing is fun. Yeah, I mean, if you don't feel like drawing today, I can just do all the drawings. No, I'm gonna draw. Okay. I I'm think just, I'm just saying, brace yourself to for. Uh, yeah. There's something strange. Why does look terrible? Who knows? I, I do want to... Oh dear, that's... You guys, this is totally off topic, but I've been struggling to make sourdough bread <laughs> lately and got tired of throwing flour in the, <laughs> in, the te in the trash. So I made a little test with just 10 grams of flour and I just made the tiniest, tiniest load of loaf of bread. <laughs> So oh cute! Oh my God! Yes, Tommy, awesome. Thank you I think for it's. This. <laughs> I think that's that's actually that's an art. Doing bread is not as easy, and um, it's an art. It is an art. That is going last, actually. Oh, if you're here it? in Berlin, yeah, you true. can't find good bread. It's it's, it's horrifying. Horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. Like if you go anywhere else in in Germany, it's so easy to get good bread. Mm. Not in Berlin. I wonder why that is. There so are only taxis for, you know, stuff. Drugs. So, <laughs> thing is, in, 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 in Rome, in the city center of Rome, you will not be able to find good pizza. Oh yeah, I can imagine. It's actually impossible. We, we tried. Or good coffee. Uh, coffee you will find, actually. There was some amazing mm. coffee that we, that we got. Mm. Um, it's... it's yeah, there were some established, uh, I mean, then again, I wasn't like a big coffee person back then, so I may what? have misjudged it. I thought that you came to the world no, loving coffee. Do you want to know <laughs> my, my coffee journey? Coffee yes, please. Journey. Coffee journey. I always, it's, it's super short. Um, <laughs> okay. It's, it's not, it's not, I, I didn't really like coffee, like to, to drink it because it was bitter and everything. Yeah. I love the smell though. Like every time we went into um, the Chibo store, oh my God. it was the most amazing smell. I was always like super pissed that I, I couldn't drink it. Uh, eventually my father kept inviting me to a cafe and I was ordering, you know, hot cocoa and everything. And then he um, asked me if I wanted to try his cappuccino, which is like his drink of choice. I'm going to a cafe and then, well, it's kind of bitter. Let's put some sugar in there. And that was fine. Yeah. So cappuccino with sugar, that was, that was, that was great. So, um, just to cope with the school uh, and everything, I started drinking coffee with... You know how you can saturate a liquid? With, yeah. Yeah, with sugar? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did that. I did that. I, I did that. I committed that. Like a crime. Every single time. And eventually, yeah. I because, because I like things... How do I put this? Pure. In their, in their essence? Yeah. Uh, I kept reducing the amount of sugar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until I was just drinking black coffee and that's like mm -hmm. how I prefer my, my coffee generally just because it's like this this almost nostalgic feeling sometimes I don't like black coffee it's, it's, it's 7 a.m. in the morning it's snowing outside I have to go to school and this coffee is going to get me through the snow <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> it has to that's nice. 
yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a nice coffee story i mean it's kind of i think i have a similar story i um okay. also sorry before you start yes. with your story i just want to read chat because sometimes the okay let's let's go with the chat sometimes these people talk Anna says, we appreciate all coming each week with mm -hmm. this. Dedication is wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Emily in the house. Yeah, a tumbleweed, also in the bread story. I love it. I want to say something to that later after the coffee <laughs> story. Uh, oh. Krasha says, ooh, great. I need to get into it again, baking, I guess. But a few years ago, I made my own bread all the time. And tumbleweed says, yeah, I was living in Barcelona a few months ago, and the bread there sucks. All right, yeah. Let's talk about bread after Kevin's coffee story. I mean, my coffee story is not too long as well you know like everyone I didn't like coffee because it was so bitter mm. and I drank it with a lot of um, milk and sugar and then I reduced it to just milk and to just milk and now I just drink milk <laughs> all <Yeah>. day <laughs> no and then I re reduced it down to you know um, milk and coffee but you know, not too special but a very nice story yes mm. indeed okay now I'm gonna share my coffee story just for the the full closure of this topic. Oh, you started with me, right? I actually didn't drink coffee before when we met. Well, the thing was, I never, I never drank coffee on a daily basis. I only would drink coffee when I was in a cafe because I felt like this was appropriate. And the, like, cafe in a wait, the coffee in a cafe. Oh, that is so hard to say. Uh, it's actually decent and good, you know, usually. So I was just drinking like latte macchiato or like latte or mm. something like that. But then Kevin entered my life and um, coffee in his hands he was the coffee drinker and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I had when I was living alone uh, while I was studying oh my god <laughs> I was a tea Nastiest. drinker you know but sometimes when I had guests over that wanted coffee I had this ne like Nestle oh like instant god. coffee thing like in the back of my my pantry basically Wah. and it was just like you know I just had it I, it was probably there for like three years because I never mm. had that many guests over bah. I guess and every time a guest was over and wanted coffee, I was just like, ah, let me grab this. Yeah, it's like <laughs> all, all solid and everything. You have to take chunks out of it. There and then you, go. you like this, right? This is coffee. <laughs> oh my god. I should mention that the coffee I got at home was quite terrible. It came out of one of those fully automated machines that for some reason it always tasted. My grandmother kept saying that to the chagrin of my mother uh, of soap. And I can't attest to that, but it wasn't very good coffee. So I, I left my parents' home some 10 years ago with a very distinct idea of what co what good coffee is <laughs> so actually buying instant coffee was actually I hope you said listening I oh, know she yeah. was earlier was kind of a step up because I was drinking a lot of instant coffee for for years I remember that actually in how, your how can in I your switch home? the the lasso to the normal one Not the the shift L. L. Oh, okay shift L? yeah I can I mostly graduated oh, that's we have to switch through okay. to like proper good. coffee Two years ago, after visiting Berlin and seeing the wonders of a uh, French, uh, French press, yeah, <laughs> the wonders of French press. But the, but it was almost like a conscious choice to to keep drinking the terrible instant coffee because it also meant that every coffee I got at a bakery or in a cafe was al always the most amazing coffee. Yeah. Because yeah. my baseline was just you know terrible. Absolutely. Mm. Um, I think I love the smell of coffee more than the flavor. Yeah, I can I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. But you the can smell like coffee for a very long time, so you don't drink it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, d did you know that coffee, the smell of coffee, is actually supposed to like cleanse your your taste and smelling oh, and palate? Oh, yeah. So like I think when like these w wine testers and wine drinkers, they have like coffee beans to smell at in between wines, so they're like freshly. Oh, I should put that into my climbing shoes, actually. Ew! <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Anything again. Yeah. That, that could help, actually. That could really help. But the as long and then we can use the I would get so paranoid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink any coffee you offered me for the, for the weeks after. Just to make sure. Like There's <laughs> always going to be this one comment. Hi, Did you know where these beans came from? <laughs> 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 it's <a> special coffee. <laughs> these are really spicy. It's interesting. <laughs> what, what, what I have this nacho cheesy <laughs> taste. Oh my them. god, guys. This taste of death? Why is that? <laughs> 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 I mean, I know you wouldn't do that, but I want to be safe from oh the God. jokes. <laughs> Listen, Kevin is ruthless sometimes. <laughs> what? Yes, you are. I remember when you put your climbing shoes into the fridge? Oh my God. 
freezer, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> not well, fridge. It was, it's, cl it's too close to the fridge, you know? <laughs> it's just too close. Yeah, no need everything. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so anyway, can you imagine this thing in in, in their undies chasing after you? <laughs> I would love to. That's someone I would talk to, you know. So what feet do they have? Oh, is gonna is it was, gonna be bird feet? I was going with human feet, but now that you say it, maybe I could do some bird feet. I'm not sure fresh. what's worse, like the, the 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 flopping of like human feet on concrete is a terrible sound. Oh, yeah. If it runs <coughs> after you. Like, humans have, have really, if you think about it, really horrifying uh, sounds when they're running. Just this, this pattering of, of, of skin on, on, on concrete. Yeah. It's probably worse than, than a bird with just some, some clacking. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, just, sketch, just sketch. Just That's sketch. why I like to paint paper with coffee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Captain Kosho, I don't drink coffee either, but coffee beans and chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah, Cho chocolate coated coffee beans are amazing. Oh yeah, oh my god, yes. I think I'm gonna change the leg, because I think I can pull it off. Okay, now I imagine this thing, this thing walking like a, like a <laughs> diver with their fins on. <laughs> yeah. Just like, like, raising their knees way too high and just going... How much time do they have? I'm Port oh. Tumble was saying I'm Portuguese, we're super big on coffee. I've cut back some, but I need to drink at least five espressos a day. Wow, no cool. sugar ever. Damn man, that's a purist. That's powerful. But my brother was actually drinking coffee like like a medicine. Like he'd, he'd, he'd <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not joking. He just need to be awake because he'd always stay way too late. Well perhaps because it took him a while to actually, you know, become tall. Um, but he would have, a, have an espresso shot and do this <laughs> every morning before going to school. Oh my god. I want to come back to the bread really quickly, yes. to, the, to the tiny bread. Um, it's like it's just anatomically not even, you know. Interesting. You know that is very interesting. You're not going to talk. Okay, all right, I'm subconscious. I'm just going to delete it. No, I really like it. That was what I want to say. Really? It's very special. Yeah. Special. <laughs> I don't want a special thing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, tiny bread. Um, time remember time. this trend that was going on a while on YouTube? I think it was. I don't know if it was on the other social medias as well, uh, where people would make like tiny food for their like hamsters, and they would make like tiny little mm. pancakes and stuff like that, like banana pancakes, and feed it to the hamsters on little like tiny tables and stuff with like tiny living mm. rooms around. Yeah, that the, the small that. hamster burrito. Everything. That was yeah. the best thing. But again, hamsters eating anything is the best thing. Yeah. True. Yeah, just pure, pure beings. Mm -hmm. Time's up. Yeah, yeah. Relax. So, I, but but to go back, since we're back at bread, like the reason why there was no good pizza in Rome of all places is because it was all touristy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And every time you sat down, the, the the proprietors knew you wouldn't come back, no matter what. If they mm -hmm. if they sold you their pizza for ten euros, they already won. So we were fed up with that because we couldn't be in Italy and not eat good pizza. Mm. Really frustrating. So one evening, you know, when tourist activity died down mostly in the middle of the week, um, we just walked until uh, we found a restaurant where the service wouldn't speak English. Uh, that was our strategy, and that's that is where we got good pizza. Uh, finally. Hard. I wonder if it's also very hard to get good sauerkraut with wurst, weißwurst in Berlin. I wouldn't know. I'm not big on that. Me neither. But you know. That's probably what Roman, what the Italians think as well. They yeah. don't, they don't eat it, but people think it's like their national but thing. To be fair, German, the German kitchen is not really like known for its epicness, whereas yeah, the true. Italian kitchen is just yeah. like world famous for being freaking epic. What? So. You never eaten met? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost done. I Tumbleweed. Just yes, tiny everything. I will admit it, I ate a tiny toast. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. So are you gonna do like a bigger version of your bread at some point? Did, was the, the small one way too dark? Hmm. So okay. also time's up. Yeah, sure. I <laughs> give me give me a second. <clears throat> so I, I probably spent like eight minutes or so on my call. I came back and was mostly the neck and they did everything in, in the yeah. in the rest of the time. Were you did you leave what you were doing at the start or? Did I? Did I 
Delete? D delete? Did you delete what you had oh, drawn no, before? No, I think I started the time before I had arranged everything correctly. So maybe like two or three minutes were just me opening hey. the references, closing stuff, mm, clocks, brushes, layers. Gotcha. Like that. yeah. That's not a very flattering tone. Oh, I'm just going on with that. See, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm it's gonna be just fine. On one free day, I'm just gonna finish all my stream drawings. Stream sketches, and right? Yeah. Every time I think, like, oh my god, I really wanna work on that longer, and I never do. Uh -huh. Why not? Why this not? giant backlog. I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just one more color. I just wanna do the yellow beak. Come on. You gotta give this to me. The yellow beak. I, I mean, can't leave without the yellow beak. <laughs> kind of cute with the yellow. See? I love it. I just love it. Okay, here we go. It's Neat. terrifying. Good, 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 good. Terrible bird person. Some move says, oh yeah, the test went great, so I'm making the proper size bread already. Mm. Nice. Oh man, I would really like to taste that bread. Mmm, taste that bread. Get it in the post. Oh, back, back in... Actually, no, that's not... No. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, you saved it before. That's good. That's it's good. Mine. Very good. It's yours to take. Yours for the taking. Oh. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. I love this. We should do this more often. We learn so much how to attach random, you know, body parts of random things to, to human body parts. What a learning experience. I love oh. learning while the stream is going. Um, Lars, yeah. your brushes are here. Yes, I got figure. Thank you. Uh. Smiling. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm going against the grain here. I'm not sure if this is transmitted to to chat. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, so now I can turn that off. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, well, uh, okay. Darwin. This. Oh no. Oh no no no! Don't do that, Lars. What? No, I didn't want to. I wanted to get the. Uh, uh, the fresh when I really drag my ass to Berlin, I promise to bring you guys a loaf, haha. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Yeah. Is this the only ref? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Is, is that the only reference we have? <laughs> That's the only reference we have. I guess I'll just look for the human reference first, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. like a, a, a bird. That's cool. Uh, what kind of bread are you making, Tumbleweep? Sourdough to sourdough to cool. sourdough. Cool. Is there like? A I think I'm gonna do this one. I like this one because I think this one is also really good for for the for the bird anatomy, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Uh, so I need the layers here, and uh, find the wing reference, and the feet reference. Ooh. Oh yes, yes please. Can I zoom? I think I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a paradise bird, no? Don't drag it. A, a, a bop. A bop? Bop. So, magic slam. Uh, Tumbleweep says, a mix of spout and wheat sourdough. Love. 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 Yum. Yum uh, yum. Now the time. How does yeah. the reference in the in the stream look just so that people get a good It's twenty minutes actually. Oh so, uh, let's check. Yeah, perfect. It's huge. That's okay. It is. It's worth more for blue but I think she could be a bit Oh yeah. Do you know how to do that? I no, no. do not. Go back to the yes. Yes. All right. Neat. Great. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yum yum. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Natalie Binder. Oh, Natty, how are Natty. you? Natty got her. Natty Brandybark is in the house. Natty got her second vaccination today mm. or yesterday. How are you feeling? How are you feeling indeed? We're doing bird creatures. Okay. Um, 
Captain Crusher says, is there a second? There is. I mean, so left in the, in the right side, but I, I'm just looking yeah, for can, can I, I don't need it right now if you want to use every part of the buffalo. You can. Natalie says, yesterday, I'm good, arm is sore, but that's fine. Yeah. All right. I mean, you're free now. You've, well, in two weeks. You are free. <laughs> that was so funny today because we, we all went to get tested uh, at this like testing center right around our corner. And this we actually really liked it before because the people there, we already knew them because we went there a lot. And they were like very soft to the nose, you know, they wouldn't like push it all the way in <laughs> and stuff. It was really nice. And then like a couple of days ago, they switched, like it was just randomly terrifying to go there again because there was this young dude with the blue eyes that was just like looking at you straight faced and like pushing it right in there, you know, like terribly. And you were crying afterwards and stuff. Like I, I'm, you know, completely telling this a bit. You know, dramatically, but you know what? You get the gist of it. And then today, I went there for the first time since since there was this uh, shift in regimes, you could almost say. Uh, <laughs> and I talked to the fellow, and I, like before it happened, and was like, "Hey, so I heard you're like pretty rough, you know." <laughs> you're the brutal one. Yeah. <laughs> and he was just like, "Ah, you know, just gotta do it correctly." I'm just like, "Yeah." So we actually really liked it the way the other people did it all the time. And he was like, "Yeah." So there was like, like this this doctor from the from the government checking on them or whatever, and they weren't happy with how the other ones did the testing. Yeah, it was a bit slacking, uh, to be honest. Well, it was very, very, very soft. Like they were barely touching your nose. It's not true. They were doing it. It was fine. But like then, then he just looked at me and was like, "Yeah, you know, the deeper the better." And then he looked at me again and was like, "You know, in this respect." <laughs> I was just like, "Sure." <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. And then I cried afterwards. Um, yeah, I think we all did. Yeah. We all did. Cry a little. I was actually laughing a lot because you were so <laughs> <laughs> not into that. I'm not into that. I'm not into no stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening in the chat? Can you read it? Because I can't um, see it from yeah. here. Yeah, uh, thank you for moving the picture. Natalie Binder, no, not the change in Zaf. Staff? Emily <laughs> in the house. Oh my god, that's awkward. Natalie Binder, my flatmate, always scratches my brain. She is very <laughs> thorough. Oh, yeah. I have to test almost daily in the office, so no, the crying is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, that's that is the price to pay if you want to meet people and not be a risk to others. That's right. I mean, fine. It's fine. I, I liked it when when I was at work and we got to test ourselves actually with like the self testing kits because I feel like if you're doing it yourself, you can go deep without it being like painful, you know, because you know where you are but the other person obviously doesn't know where they are and so they're just like you know shoving it smash in there it in. and the smash. rubbing it against your n inner noses and all the you it's know. already so cool us i don't know where i am i feel like the back is slightly long yeah that's the know. point oh, okay, okay. I want ah, okay. okay that's the point because technically you know, what would happen is have like one set of pictorials and then have like a, another one that goes around and that's where the wings are not quite sure if I want to do that. I want to make it. I mean, long torso makes sense anyway. You, you need more of that. Uh, and just talking of long torsos, you know what's almost in style again? Low rise pants. Really? It's like so close, so close before it's in style again. For no. men or women? For women. Okay. Low rise pants. Yeah. Low waist and low waist pants. Yeah. Yeah. Who was complaining about that before? I. I mean, probably. Was you? I hate low rise pants. Someone was like, I, I hate it with the searing passions of, oh, okay, never, never raise well, that again. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a fashion victim, so at some point I'm probably going to be into it again. <laughs> Mark my words. I will, I will own low rise pants at some point, probably, because, you know. But for now, I'm really opposed to it, and I don't like it. Because it makes the torso look so long. That's why I was talking about this right now. Like, even if you have long legs, which I do not have, and I feel like most of the population doesn't necessarily have super long, mm. like, model legs, you know? Mm -hmm. It just looks proportionally just so wrong to have, like, low-rise pants and your torso is just, like, 
extremely elongated and mm-hmm. then you know and like like all the you know tissue that is above the thing you know it's just not flat it's not flat even if you're skinny it's just not and if you're not skinny then you know you can wear whatever anyways but still i feel like it just makes a better silhouette just in general mm. body type it doesn't even matter i don't know it's a different silhouette it's not a better silhouette yeah. taste you can always teach oh, yeah. people their taste actually it's mm. it's what um marketing is doing anyway all the time that's true but i feel like from the like the top bottom proportional relationship i feel like the most boring and go-to thing is just like half half you know t-shirt mm-hmm goes to the half of the body and then you have pants other half of the body like roughly and that's kind of what you know elderly people do a lot because it's just like you know it's safe and it's decent looking and you know that's orderly what I do. What? No. I'm half half no, no, oh, yeah. I was wondering what this box was but this box isn't just some arbitrary thing but it's actually it's the it's, canvas it's the limit <gasps> I'm gonna God, Lars, you're such a rebel I'm thinking yes, outside the box now Rebel. Starting to believe. Rebel without a cost. Um, and then proportional wise, like the low ri- the low the high waist pants make it so interesting because it's like a two thirds leg, one third upper body when you like mm. stick the t shirt inside yeah. the thing. Yeah, I get it. And then you have oversized shirts or whatever, then it's kind of like two thirds top and then just a little bit of leg sticking out, like one third. <laughs> <laughs> But with the low rise, it's just so confusing again. Maybe it's like, what is it? It's like half is leg, and then one half, if you're wearing a crop top, is like exposed skin. You know, it's just confusing. I don't know. Sorry. Anyways, that's my fashion talk for today. Uh, love these conversations as Nazis. Also, uh, who, what's the. Hoof jeans can go and burn in hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into it either. <clears throat> Mm-mm. Oh no. So guys, um, if you want to show what you're doing, you can post it on Discord. Um, you probably all know how to get there. So we don't have to post no. the link, but yeah. It's also Just do, and then we can take a look at them at <gasps> the end of the stream. We're going to take a look at them. Also, we have the first submission for Kevin's portfolio review, but we're going to do it next time, probably, because the person whose portfolio is going to be reviewed is not here today, but on the boat. Mm-hmm. So yeah. next week, if um, she's joining the stream, we're going to do a review. But as long as that did not happen you can also submit your portfolios if you want Kevin and or Lars to review them I mean I can also review them but I don't know if you want that <laughs> um, something valuable to be said so. yeah I mean I, yeah I guess I have a different standing like illustration wise maybe but you feel like your taste is just good and you have the skills and whatever so I'm, I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm very, uh, uh, <laughs> very much qualified to get portfolio reviews. So I'm going to shut up and just let Kevin work. Anyways, Kevin it is really depends. good. Yeah, I mean, I, it depends on... Yeah, it's hard to say because I, I feel like you could give very good portfolio reviews as well, Lars. Um, yeah, but there's, there's no... No... Uh, Industri- I'm gonna put this. Uh, what's the word? I thought I put this. This, this needs too much concentration for my part, so I can't yeah, actually. Looks, but it looks super cool. It I looks really, really like cool. it. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, yeah you can, w- you can, you will get feedback if you if you post it into the Discord. Um, into the portfolio I can channel portfolio review channel um, we will do portfolio review at the end of the stream so you can get it there and um, yeah of course you have to be there because otherwise it's kind of it's probably not working because I think not everyone is interested in that so um, yeah that is it I'm sorry I'm tired okay. it's not that I'm not interested in doing portfolio reviews I'm just a bit tired now that's okay 
Emily in the house says, stop being modest, guys. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're all qualified to provide feedback. Oh, thanks. That's nice. I mean, thank you, Emily. <laughs> thank you, Emily. She just. I was going to say, just to completely devalue your point you just made. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do that, but I feel like feedback, that's fine. I, I know I have, I, have, I have certain strengths and I like to, to, you know, share what I know in that regard, but portfolios, like the idea of getting into an industry, because I've had very few actual industry jobs, so I feel like I, I don't know what I'm talking about when I, yeah, yeah. When I do that. So, yeah. I have no justification, no, um, what's the word? It's credibility. Credibility. Yeah. yeah, maybe in in that specific part of giving portfolio reviews, if someone wants to get into concept art in specific or something, mm. I can get it. Yeah. But still, I will get you anyways for getting mm. <laughs> for giving feedback. And mm. I mean, portfolio review at the end for me is feedback as well. You know, mm. is sure. Yeah. Of course, I want to get into industry or whatever. But it's like a certain aspect of feedback. You know, if they're not asking, how can I improve my anatomy? They're asking, how do I make this, uh, my artworks, so that I will get jobs at, I yeah. don't know, Magic the Gathering or whatever. Yeah, yeah and that's a very technical aspect. And it's not very, it's not very, um, it's not like specifically, how to get a job is more like mm. okay if you get better you will get a job so mm. how to get better mm. you know? and that's why Lars could get get uh, give feedback as well mm. you too thank you I mean I feel like I'm maybe qualified for the follow your heart kind of advice <laughs> you know the like if you don't want if you don't enjoy drawing these particular things then you probably shouldn't you should just draw what you are interested in and what you are passion is and that kind of translates into the drive so these kinds of generic things I could provide for sure she looks like she's dancing yeah. or like she's she's doing some mm -hmm. sort of mating I mean that's just what I I mean that's like one or two things that birds talk about right yeah listen do you want to like get down to it and the other one is like nope and the other oh yeah oh well, got some food then <laughs> yeah. Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> I love these kinds of birds that like clean up the place where mm. they dance. Oh, it's so cute. It's so amazing. They just like make everything pretty. Do like an arrangement of leaves or sticks and stuff or shiny bits, and then they make it dance. And the woman is just sitting there like. Hmm. They're like humans, right? Mm. Yeah. Or we're sure. more like animals. Yeah. But mm. I mean, God made us, so can be actually. <laughs> Repka, do you know people who study game design in Berlin? Yes, we do know them. We do know. There might be some in chat. Quite a lot. Maybe of them. Lucas is there, but I'm not sure. Um, he's actually studying game design at the HTV Berlin. Our. There are a few people doing. Former flatmate was studying game design at mm -hmm. the HTV, and he finished it. He got his bachelor's. So uh, more than a year ago, Baya also from Drink and Draw and Julian did game design at the HTV, mm -hmm. and also I applied there as well. Kevin applied there, and they didn't take Kevin. Yeah, but you know why? It's very, it's um, they're not looking for game des uh, game art, even though they're promoting game art. You know, yeah. they're showing all the concept art and saying they're doing game game design, and then you go there and they're asking you. Mm what game design is and you're like yeah that's what is what is on your side i want to do that as well mm. and they're like no no this is not game art i mean this is game design you yeah, have to yeah. design games not not make the art not for make it, art which for we're it, like you know? advertising here so game art is uh, is a different thing than game design yeah I mean, so it makes sense and that's why game design might not be for you if you want to do art. drawing and art that's right um just be aware that I think with Lucas, I mean, you can probably talk to him in person about this if you're ever on the boat or if he's in chat, Discord. actually. You can go on Discord, oh, yeah. straight yeah. in there. Uh, mm -hmm. But our former flatmate also had a rough two first semesters, I think two or three first semesters, because the majority of the things they were doing in the studium was like basically programming, like programming IT, uh, what else? Didn't he actually have to take a language and stuff like that? It's kind of cool, actually. It sounds yeah, but you know, if you just wanna, I mean, if you go there and you're just like, okay, listen, I want to learn how to do epic art, 
and you have to do all this stuff that you're literally not interested in. It's just like a second school where you have to take all the subjects that are not really what you want to do, you know, which shouldn't be like a college thing, I feel like, anyways. Yeah, totally, I agree. Um, just like in the, in the back here, just, oh, I get a language in, in, like, in addition to all the other stuff here as well. Sure, I, yeah. I like that. But not if you have to do it f to pass. Okay, Repka is saying, yeah. uh, how hard is it to get in? Um, it depends on what you're doing, I guess. If you're just doing art, I think it's hard to get in. Yeah, because they're really picky about that. I mean, obviously, they didn't take Kevin, so yeah, listen. Yeah, but I mean, it, I wasn't good. That was like, so you were nice. good. I, I mean, come on. Um, then Rebka is saying... Oh no, uh, Drunk Squirrel Apocalypse. What's HTV? I'm not from Berlin. HTV is a... Hochschule für Technik. So it's like the, the technical uh, college. I think yeah. HTV is like HTV is the general term for that kind of college, and then there's just the city. So there's a HTV Stuttgart, HTV Berlin, HTV Hamburg. Mm -hmm. And you can study game design there. Yeah. So it's not really game art; it's game design. You're designing print, like you're designing the game experience. The game experience, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Like more the principle of how the game works, the game mechanics, and all that. Um, and then Repka is saying they have. A stream showing their games and they're amazing. Yeah, I mean the games are super cool. If you're doing game design, that's exactly where you want to go because it's it's I think it's it's really cool and they do learn a lot about game design. And then Natalie uh, Bindelyak was also sent away from RTV. Yeah, probably because you were doing game art. School for Games does offer game art classes, I think, but it's. Yeah, but it's, it's private. Uh, private, so you have to pay money. Mm. RTV is uh, official, you know, from the government. So you just have to do your sh mm, shooting the bureau of like whatever, mm -hmm. 300 per half a year or something. Um. Mm, Repka, yeah, I also like programming, but I don't know if I'm enough of a game designer, but I try. Yeah, they have a... They have a... Um, um, yeah, you have to do an interview with them, and then you will see how. <laughs> oh my God! They're how uh, very particular people. Yeah. <laughs> how nice they are. <laughs> yeah. Don't um, put your water bottle on the table. Just saying. Yeah, sure. yeah that's that's a no go. That's don't put no your no. don't put your water bo bottle on the table because Ever. then it will kick you out instantly. Yeah. That seems arbitrary. Yeah, that was super weird, man. Like that was my first interaction with them. Um, Kevin Kochnabel, when did you apply, Kevin? Take, wait, sorry, is that why they didn't take you? I don't know, man. Maybe. I mean, probably because I, because I was doing more game art than game design. But they took um, Ole, and Ole was doing exactly the same thing. Okay. Um, drinks, girl, apocalypse, okay, thanks. I, Captain Kochnabel, when did you apply? That was four years ago. Four years ago, ago? yeah. Four no way, it was five years. No, it's... Oh, okay, it could be five years ago. Five years ago. I mean, we, we are almost together for six years now, and mm -hmm. it was like right at the start. So yeah. five years, probably. Yeah, five years, probably. So it's half a century. That's crazy. Oh, half a century. Wow. <laughs> um, That's not how time works. Natalie Binde, the water bottle thing was also a thing in my uni. Well, I heard from, from Ole that actually the water bottle thing is it's because... It's like a dominance thing. They okay, just can wanna, I speak? Sorry. Um, <laughs> Because they uh, take photos like randomly, and they want that everything looks super cool all the time. So if you wa have a water bottle on the, on the table, it doesn't look as cool. So they can't put that onto their website. So that's like a thing they they um, they insist on, so that never ever happens. You know, having water bottle on the, on the table is like no go. That's I mean, that was before Game of Thrones. They made it cool, right? Yeah, I mean, they made it. I mean, listen, I feel like. Those staged photos are just sad. I feel like I read. Uh, I it's not staged if people r literally don't do that. <laughs> it's yeah, like novel. but come on. I mean, that's just like oh, I'm. I don't know. It's like you know. No, it's time, but I just need to mask this out somehow. Okay, nothing. Um, oh my God! Then you just arrived in Berlin when I first met you at D and D. Wow. We. I have. Cool water bottle. Yeah, well, you can. I mean, you can negotiate with them if you yeah. have a cool water bottle, um, but I think the chances are low, actually. And um, also, Natalie Bindel, I'm not sure. The I think <laughs> I like how you keep saying her last name. 
Ja, interesting. Nati, sorry. <lacht> Nathalie Bindel. Um, I think I was one of the earliest times, I don't know if you um, saw the ink sketch battles at Drink and Draw with Jama and Jana Schema and Adam Piquet. They were all there. Uh, that was like one of my first first uh, sessions at Drink and Draw actually. Yeah, our, think one of our first. We went there like a month or two. That was October. That. Yeah, and September oh, were, were yeah. yeah. That's true. So yeah. That was in icy Berlin still. Icy Berlin. Back in the days. Good old times. Captain Kostal. It was probably because of the game art, this game design thing. Game design is probably more level design and stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And game mechanics and stuff like that. It's my scream, <laughs> Mr. Kevin. <laughs> yeah. I What? Know. No, because I, I kept saying uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Natalie Bindel, Natty Bindel. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is just kind of kind of funny. Yeah, no, I haven't heard of her. In a long time, yeah. I think she's, she's in LA still, busy. She? She's busy, busy in LA. Busy yeah. bird. Um, busy bird. Yeah, we neither actually. I mean, she uh, had some some contact with with uh, Julian. Oh, okay. With Julian and maybe Adrian mm -hmm. here and there, but um, yeah, it's been it's been a while. I think people are just moving along, you know, living their best lives. Hopefully. So next. Yeah. So I, I go next That's because really you don't cool. want to. No, I don't want to. Kind of was all decided at some point. Slow, you slowers. <laughs> yeah, she's been very quiet. Yeah, no, that's for sure. That's for sure. The whole or just for you? I'll change it. Says please, please. All right, so next, next artwork. Please change your screen name to Miss Bindle. That would be amazing. Miss Bindle, yeah, but yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Or formal. Miss Bindle, yeah, I can, uh, I can relate. I'd like to choose the bird first. <laughs> oh my God. Huh? Yeah, I can see it coming, Miss Bindle. Mm. Man, I was talking a lot now. Captain Kotschabe. I wish she would do more social media stuff. I miss her artworks, though I guess it could be she just gets frustrated with it, like <gasps> a lot of us. Oh, I have the vision for this bird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, social media. The thing is, I th if you have a lot of a lot of stuff to do, I think social media is, is not a priority. You have yeah. Now that you're Changing it, you have to change uh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll check it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's okay, is it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's always. I think it's always a struggle too. I mean, social media is also, for me at least. It's a bunch of trouble. It's a bunch of trouble. It's it's hard, posting stuff. Mm. I don't know the expectations, and if you're Yana Shima, probably more expectations i know that adrian for example he had like a post going quite viral and then he was after that he was like okay <laughs> i don't want to post anything, anything yeah. Ever again. <laughs> yeah yeah i can i can imagine that mm. to be a factor for, for sure and you don't need that kind of stress oh those are some action poses here mm -hmm. <laughs> you can give her like tiny wings Yeah, I have a vision. And I'm just needing to just need to check if it works. I think it work. Hi, right, I'm going with this one, I think. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Let me just. Um, time. Oh, that's not the time. Time. Actual time. So trying to miss. Kevin, would you be so kind and give, bring me a bottle of water? Bottle of water. Bottle of water. There's no water anymore. It's empty. What are we doing? We really need to clean, by the way. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's discuss it here. <laughs> Sorry. Can I get a glass of water then? Yes, for sure. Thank you. Yes, for sure. 
That's not coffee. No, I don't. Shoot. Should I do some more coffee? No, I think it's enough. I figure if I... It's coffee and co caffeine-free coffee. Okay. All right. Oh, I have an idea what I want to do for my next drawing. Mm -hmm. Like a design principle. I have also a vision for this <laughs> little fellow. That'd be great! I just, I just, I just, I just can't even sit up straight, it's just all hurting. This is just really cutesy and toy. <coughs> oh. gonna be fierce and fluffy person listen that to you yeah you, you got it you got it all right <laughs> exactly what I'm going for oh, thank you he gone <clears throat> fierce and fluffy it's really loud Big dog is barking outside. I don't know. Him. It's like a strong bork. Very strong bork. You know, it's like a random thought, but if I had the power of God, mm -hmm. I would not make like the the volume and the uh, like the octave, like like how how high or deep the sound is mm -hmm. of the bark of a dog. Not dependent on, on the, the size, size of the dog. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we, you have this two two hour production. So whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and you have like this really big dog, which is like a yeah. You have this horrifying <laughs> attack dog. Oh, just God. just sound like the like like an actual like you know the more red light dogs like that. Yeah. And Chihuahua, which is you know they would they would, they would do the thing on the on the leash. Mm. And then you would have actual like force hitting your body from the power of their bark once they start to move. <laughs> just the one, by the way. Oh, There's not enough energy for more than one. Just move. Yeah. And, just and then you, they have to. They have to recharge. Yeah, kind of. You know, like big dogs do that, right? Because yeah, yeah. they have like a cooldown basically for this yeah. for this bark. So. Also, yeah. just because a dog is like a low growl doesn't mean that they would have like a low bark. I'd also make that completely interdependent. Oh my God. But that's just so... It's pure chaos. That's so... Like you wouldn't... I mean, imagine there was a bunch of dogs. You would just not know which one was doing what. Because mm. you can't go by size. Yeah. You, you'd have no idea. Also, just for fun, every dog in 10,000 meows so instead, of, instead of bark. Yeah. Like the gym memes are good at hugging people. I don't know that one. Sub wolf Um Yeah, we were talking about that we would would make the bark of the dog like the the pitch basically mm -hmm. not dependent on size, but just random. Yeah, that would be super cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, just the most random of thoughts. But yeah, if, if I just if I was a god of chaos, that's like one of the things I would I would do. Yeah. Like one day you wake up and this chihuahua looks at you and goes, Woof. Yeah. Oh my god. That's, Woof. that's genius. That is genius. Oh my freaking. What the hell are you doing? What? What the hell? I, what? I'm, I'm more interested in the why. <laughs> I didn't have a vision. I had one of floofy upper body and long ass strong legs. I like how that explains mm. some of it, but nothing important, like nothing relevant. Just still, wow. Wait, that was huh? perfectly. Captain Crunch never says, "Okay, that's that's a tough post bird combination." Which <laughs> <laughs> says, "This is the best." Yes. <laughs> and Natalie Binder, Mrs. Binder says, "Do you think they'd get pushed back by the roof or vibrate?" Oh, they would vibrate us, freak. You'd actually yeah. feel like if you have a chihuahua in your arm and they pick something to fight with, which I think there's like 99% of a, of a chihuahua's brain is dedicated to fight, finding something to fight. Um, you would actually feel them like vibrate and heat up in the seconds leading up to, to oh a bark. God. So it's like a dragon 
yeah. situation where they're just like glowing. Yeah, the, the, the fur just starts to perk up and like stand yeah. on their chest and then woof. Kind of like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad everyone voted for the freaky challenge. Thank you, everyone. You made it freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Think outside of the box. It's what you said, Lars. <laughs> Listen, I just want to have some fun here with some, you know, strong ass legs. Well, fun for you and nightmares for some people, I guess. Do you think they. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just rereading and whatnot. Yeah. Also, because. I mean, I, I, I kind of make it interdependent, but I want some physics in there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like something that could happen. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, small dogs uh, do like the wah, 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 wah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, but I will, because you know, the Chihuahua needs to charge to, to uh, compensate for their lower yeah. lung volume. A big dog doesn't have to do that. No. So when a big dog starts doing their tiny bark, mm -hmm. it goes on forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like what's the temper though because usually big dogs are very chill because they're big and they don't mm. bark as much and small dogs are very anxious because they're very small and they bark a lot so what would that would that be the same so the yes. chihuahua would just constantly recharge yes. <laughs> chihuahua's been <laughs> most of the day <laughs> charging <laughs> and barking <laughs> one bark and it's like, okay that's enough for now there's like a like a sense of duty oh. you know with especially with guard dogs and dogs that are territorial they have like a like a quota of barks they need to meet for the day. Yeah. And I just made chihuahuas need to do that constantly. So. Okay, there's isn't some that stuff great? Going on. Yeah. Natalie says uh, this indeed is a very outside of the box. Thank mm -hmm. you, Natalie. I take that as um, a compliment. <laughs> Emily, Emily in the house. No, it sparks creativity when it's challenging. It's great. Yes, Thank indeed. You. I agree. I agree. Oh man, I want Dragon Prince to go on. I mean, it is. But not now. Not now, but you be, be happy you didn't live in the time when you weren't sure if there was ever going to be a third or even a fourth season. Because mm -hmm. that's that's where I was living. It was funny because the, the day we finished uh, Dragon Prince, I think a couple of days after, the third season was actually announced. Oh my we God. watched it in 2018, like September, I think, or August. I can't believe how old it is. Hmm? It's so old. Wow. It's like a... Like a season a year, but not in 2020. Oh, okay. Just because Wait, but you said 2008. Oh, and then the third thing got. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm with you. Let's see. They could rev up production now since they're, they're, they, they have everything confirmed. Mm -hmm. By the way, did you see the floodings in the NIV? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, uh, my, my mother and uh, stepfather were evacuated yesterday. Oh what the fuck? God. That's crazy, man. Yep, yeah. I haven't seen it. I imagine it's, it's terrible. It's so crazy. But they're it's fine. So uh, I like how that line describes the volume really, really well. Thank you. Always looks like it could, could connect to the great trochanter. I see. Like the, 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 the dimple you got there. Yeah. Nette. But. But mm -hmm. if but yeah, I'm I'm not very concerned about my parents because they live on a hill. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> they live very far up. You know, there's no water. There anywhere, should be. Really. I mean, on this hill, there's no like, yeah, river. Yeah, or yeah. I know, man. That was crazy. I remember we had uh, we had a very heavy rainfall once mm -hmm. or twice. I don't know, and the house was not well suited for this kind of flooding there was mm. some kind of break in the ground from mm. the water uh, rainwater pipe system and the um, you know in Germany we have uh, the cellar and then there are like small windows and you can it's like a small um, like a small hole where you can look up and then there's yeah. the street right and that thing just filled up with water completely Oh and no. it came through the windows, and we had to to uh, oh to let it in, like you know, yeah, into, into the room, into the room, and like the whole cellar was full with water because of that. Even though we we are on the on the hill, you know. Did that Crazy. happen to again, or did your father or? No, it just happened like twice or something. Uh -huh. It was crazy. It was like twenty centimeters of water everywhere in the mm -hmm. whole, uh, and my room was in that. Um, oh, no. in, in the cellar, yeah. So I was a cellar person, destroying all day <laughs> and playing StarCraft 2. Kevin was a cellar person <laughs> when I met him, that's crazy, yeah. It was the brightest summer day outside and I was just like, let's draw in the garden. And Kevin was like, no, I gotta be on my computer. 
I gotta grind. No time for going outside and seeing sunlight. Uh -huh. uh, I would rain incessantly back at my mother's place. Mm -hmm. um, there's a toy store on the on the uh, ground floor. On the ground floor, mm -hmm. and the storage for all the toys was in the cellar. Oh. So when it rained really terribly, it would actually do the same thing. Like through the windows, it would just just rain, and I think there's also some some permeation through uh, the actual street outside. It would just go into the cellar. Um, we yeah. would get buckets and mm. try to keep the water level of. Mm from reaching the shelves, yeah. destroying the toys, oh like the packaging at least. Bucket. Yeah, we did that as like well. We had buckets and it felt like in a ship. upstairs? Or was that too many toys? That was, that was too much. Okay. Couldn't, couldn't really do that. Yeah. It was easier to just get buckets and, and do and, and try to keep the water away. Yeah. But yeah, what for did us? you do at night? Was hmm? that at night as well? You yeah, we did like it once at night as well. It felt like in a ship, kind of. It was like in a ship, water's coming in, we're going with buckets and filling it mm -hmm. uh, into the toilet and <laughs> I don't know. At risk of sinking is your financial status, yeah. Uh. So, I'm so, so the coffee is ready. Good with time, I think. Look at me being good with time. Damn. I need to leave, says oh no. someone. Drunk squirrel apocalypse. I need to leave, but today was a lot of fun. I hope that you'll be doing something like that again. And we will certainly do that again if you are requesting that. <laughs> no, I really love it. Um, I think the boys are not that much into it. But I think we're, we're just... just uh, I mean, we kind of went off that plan for a bit because we were just happy where it was. We had this. You weren't there for that, I think. You were gone that week. Mm. But we had like this idea. Okay, we're, we're gonna try a few things out. Like for a month, we're gonna do life drawing, and then we're gonna go back to challenges and, and stuff like uh, that. But for some reason, you both were really an anti today. Um, so. It's hot. I'm just anti everything. No, I mean like even before the stream started this morning when we discussed. It was hot this morning. Yes, um, Honestly, I just, I just, I'm still chasing my sleep <coughs> deficit. You want so coffee, right? I was, I w I was I mildly coffee. upset because With a lot of milk. Before I was thinking you were kind of hijacking our plans, and then I realized we didn't actually, you know, after three weeks we didn't actually come up with new plans. So this is kind of what we wanted anyway. Yeah, just go I back mean, to the challenges. I, I was quiet for I think you did a month actually of just the anatomical life drawing. I think it was three three weeks. Mm, so I think it was more because we did it for two. So like. Last week we did it, the three of us, us the f week before, we both did it alone. The week before that, I am not sure, and okay, I don't know. Well, I was going by reference packs, because I know we used two graffiti and one from Drink and Draw. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was my... But didn't we just use, not graffiti, but like another reference pack from uh, Noah Bradley? Because, yeah, we used that one. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely so it may, may have been a month. Week. That's why I wasn't upset anymore because yeah, this is if if it's off by a week, whatever. It's just yeah, that's kind of what we wanted to do and see how people react. And it's the point is mood anyway because there's not enough people. Like we, we're not reaching new people anyway because Twitch is being mean to us. Yeah. So why yeah why not do the thing that people actually want to do? And why not do the thing that is actually just like entertaining? You know? I feel like. Well, that's the thing, because you know my 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 counter argument. This this is more interesting, like going from week, week to week. But I feel like doing live drawing has a couple of advantages that this doesn't have. But I mean, people can still do it if they really want to do it. They can just use this one reference. Yeah, but that's like like going. If you, I know this game a game is free to play and everything, mm. but um, you have a better experience if you if you, if you buy or something like that. Yes, it's it's optional, mm. but it's not the supported. Thing. I mean, sure if I'm making sense because I don't think I am. Yeah, but you're making sense. I guess some, s s some of some of it. I feel, I just feel like life drawing as a thing is more accessible to more people. Yeah, but I also feel like because it's less niche, it's a little bit more um, not unique. Because but there, I, I I can't remember any life drawing stream actually. Do you know any life drawing stream? Um. No, she doesn't, right? No, I, I mean, don't. it's kind of, kind of. <laughs> uh, I mean, for me, it's it's kind of niche already having a live drawing stream. Mm. And the, the most popular, actually, that's actually kind of funny. The most popular art streams are mostly not safe for work streams, anyway. So, 
we're kind of getting there with life drawing, I guess. Um, Going back to the streets with life drawing. Another 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 point would be uh, that is more representative of what Drink and Draw is doing, because the the point of it at some point was to have like the same experience online. Yeah, but that changed because now it's Drink and Draw on the internet, and we know everything on the internet is more m like a meme than everything not on the internet. You know, I think the internet as an influence itself has like a, a certain language and a certain aesthetic almost mm. that changes and is you know, um, uh, in, con in constant flux. But in general, I would say it's more like meme and, and colorful and like weird and like personal and maybe like even, you know, funny and self-deprecating mm -hmm. and something like that. Yeah, so that I makes feel like sense. This is kind of drink and draw on the internet, you know? You get the, the life drawing aspect and you get the weird, funky internet stuff. Yeah, I, 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 I get it. it. I, I get it. It's just, you know, it's not very snappy. Pitch this to me in one sentence. I just did. Drink and draw on the internet. Okay, without like t 10 ends. Drink and draw on the internet. If I heard that, oh, that's live drawing. On the internet. Yeah, on the internet. Yeah. That's, okay, that's live drawing because drink and draw is okay, live drawing. Do we want to discuss it here? It's kind of weird. No, it's yeah. kind of weird, guys. I'm, 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 I think it's cool because everyone can uh, sure. join the discussion, you know? It's not like we're like. That's like it's not a closed door kind of so, discussion. Yes, it is. The thing is, I'm, 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 I'm offering a contrapoint to, to my thing anyway because one of the most popular drawing things on the internet is Drawfee, where do, we're doing something similar to this. Yeah. So what is Drawfee? I don't know, tell me. Yeah, you don't know because you always refuse to watch it with me whenever I pitched it <laughs> over the last one and a half years. Wait, <laughs> yes. I refused? What is it? You all refused, oh, we were doing something like Drawfee, we should watch it so we know what we're doing. I had you never went, I don't want to watch it because I want to do the same thing. I mean, it's market research. Uh, listen, I never... Oh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. Let's, let's take a look at Drawfee later. Yeah. I'm sorry, I may have included you. Without with it, without being warranted, M may may have been with someone else around. I don't I don't remember you ever pitching that to me, hmm. because my 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 silent um, ideal that I aspire for this <laughs> for the stream to be is actually like kind of like the Jenna Marbles, Jenna and Julian podcast used to be. I mean, it doesn't exist anymore because Jenna Marbles not on the internet anymore. But like just you know a bit random, a bit funny, a bit like out of the box but like personal just like you know niche nerds talking about all kinds of stuff okay yeah, we have to get into the chat sorry yeah. stuff is going on there all right um Hit can us. you go up uh, wait can i Shit, go up it's too much what yeah this no, <laughs> can we too much quickly oh yeah thank oh. you uh okay now you've been online you can mix it up with uh up and we can watch you doing mermaid I really love the landscape challenge. Yeah, that was super cool. Yeah, and then the house says, ha, well, if you're opening up to the floor, I agree with Aline. It's good to have a bit of both with the freedom to let people be creative. Nati says, so for showing techniques and keeping it, f it fun, it's good. And then Captain Kreuzschamber says, today's session is certainly really fun. And I think it's accessible for a lot of people as well. But in the end, it's like with every other streamer, you do what you like because you're hosting. That's right. That's what I think. And I mean, you guys are really into the classical live drawing, but I personally like these stuff way better. So since it's the three of us, I feel like we should just mix it up. Um, Solo Juanito said, I love that I found you online a few months back, then going to the workshops on the boat. Ooh, nice. And having this mix and match of the best of both worlds is great. And Rapka says, geez, you are so opinionated. I love it. I think it's just nice to have company while drawing. Drawing uh, the exact reference is Zeitring. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That makes sense to me. And that's the way I feel too. If, if like the, the drawing and our talking is funny and interesting, maybe, then they, you know, everyone can still draw whatever mm, yeah. practically. Uh, the streamer having fun is one of the most important things, I think. More so because you're not doing this for pay and it's in your free time. It's true. Uh, Nati says the bird challenge opens up the option to mix. It's a challenge m may be offered two options: one for the bo bojos <laughs> and one for Eileen. Yeah, bojos, <laughs> bojos. <laughs> so, yeah. so we can pick. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think as well because you, I mean your approach is I mean Lars's approach versus mine approach. Mine is more like illustrative and weird, and Lars's approach is more like how would I make bird anatomy and mix with human anatomy? <laughs> and I think that's completely valid. I mean. I really failed at that anyway, but yeah, <laughs> there, was, there was an attempt there at some point. And yeah, I mean, studies. I like both actually. For me, there's, there's a, there's something about life drawing that is very, it's very pure, 
and it's very applicable to a lot of stuff so that's why i like that mm. uh, the thing is with those challengers which is super nice is that it's so weird that it's not not um not horrible if you fail because yeah. it's so mm -hmm. weird it's you know it, it's prone to fail anyway mm -hmm. so it makes you kind of comfortable with failing it's like the beginner's mindset thing again because mm -hmm. your expectation is so like <laughs> well it's probably gonna be weird yeah um, <laughs> which is the whole point of it then you're maybe surprised with the results if they're like actually kind of fun or cool or illustrative or whatever yeah. and it's stuff that i would never do in my life <laughs> it's stuff that I would certainly do every day of my life, no, not so every day, but a lot. For most of this, I'm trying to play devil's advocate because I, I do enjoy the challenges for the reasons that you listed. Mm. It's just that, you know, live drawing is my thing, so I, I do enjoy it a bit more, which is why there there is totally bias there. Mm. But the whole, the, the thing with, you know, the, the idea of be it Jenna Marbles or, I forgot what the other example was that we talked about, um, doing the whatever thing only works if people are already known for something else. You know, do you mean that they actually like us for our personality and then they just do whatever with us, basically? Right. Yeah, yeah. kind of like that. It's, it's like an enfranchised group that we have mm. that sticks with us, I guess, no matter what we do, because we have the same amount or like mm. a couple people more in, in chat right now than, than we did live drawing. But, mm. uh, you know, take PewDiePie. The guy was a Let's Player. Period. Now he can do whatever because he has um, huge enough following. people that whatever he does, there's people who watch it. Yeah, but this is why it's so important. Sorry that I'm interrupting you to let our personality shine. You know, because if you're just doing life drawing and that's your thing and your personality is just like not important, then you just are stuck with doing life drawing forever. Like I remember watching this interview with like a person that played like Hearthstone for a living mm -hmm. on Twitch, and this person was not like a personality streamer but just like a very good hearthstone yeah and she would just she is just like she has to do this thing forever because she yes. if she switches the game no one will watch her because mm -hmm. she's just like the best hearthstone player you know <laughs> it happened for the same for the best heroes of the storm player too <laughs> yeah it's, it's actually time's over yeah i see that sorry but just most streamers got where they are by just being consistent for a long time and then some of them were able if their interest isn't too niche to branch out mm. Like yeah, I um, I like both. I mean, I, I know that you like both as well. I um, like both as well. So I, I, mean, I, I guess I can I can kind of nail it down with um, I like both. I like life drawing a bit better, mm. but I feel like being consistent with a thing that has consistency in itself is better for channel growth, which is impossible anyway right now. But I don't necessarily agree with you. I feel like every channel I know has grown because they were consistent. Because people know I tune in at this time, I get this. It's kind of like a like a movie. Yeah, but why channel. can't we be consistent in being a bit, you know, having both? Like Natalie suggested, we have we always have like some sort of figure uh, to draw, you know, and then we just sometimes add some fun, uh, like randomness and stuff to it. I mean, sure. Bit tougher to sell. I, I guess something we should do is to have the topic of the thing in the title of the stream. Why are we doing that? <laughs> That's true. I guess people <laughs> can see it anyway, yeah. so there's no point because it's not popping up. But it's like a big thing to have have something in the channel because whenever I browse for something to watch, if, mm. which I rarely do because I mostly do YouTube. Mm. But if I even if I have more YouTube videos, I go for the one with a title that appeals to me, mm. just because it's it's magic that I want to watch. For example, the card game, not uh, tricks. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go for the one that says, "Hey, I'm drafting the new set," instead of the guy going, "Hey, I'm going to grind a modern league." Because I yeah. both it's magic. I'm way more interested in seeing the new set displayed mm. than seeing a format that I'm tangentially, ten, 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 part, not really into. Mm. Okay, Natalie Bindle, I like more playful but also informative part. I can binge watch Proko's videos anytime, but this is more personal and light-hearted, which is also valuable. Mm. Nathalie Binden says, also, you can also uh, combine it with running polls on Instagram IG or here, yeah. or here but doing did. some reappearing themes would contribute to consistency without getting stiff. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes, Yeah, for example, yes. I don't know, mixing figures with some sort of animals. That could be like a thing. Tick. I think last post right now. Huh? Last yes. post. Last, last post and then you can put your stuff <sighs> onto the Discord. I will post it. Oh my god, can you zoom out one second so that people can actually see the whole glory of this? <laughs> pretty pretty. There you go. 
<laughs> why do you always draw things that I don't want to be chased by? <laughs> and why do I always look like they're good at chasing? That's the worst part. Because I really like drawing long legs. So does this thing actually strut like a like a runway model, or does it does it does it do like this? No, it struts like the runway model. Okay, okay, it's that's like that's worse. That's actually <laughs> worse. <laughs> I mean, look at her or him. It's so fashion. All right, uh, oh. it's uh, Gnarf. Oh, God damn, I just remembered that you're gonna live stream today. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we did. Sorry that. And you Twitch are late. Not. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I mean uh, Twitch. Uh, forgot to make doing, notifications. Uh, They're not really doing their job. Um, no, so. I want to do another Insta thing. Um, yeah. But glad you're no. here now. Captain, no. the Twitch thing is a real problem. I think there's not even a report button for us to yeah. use that the channel is not showing up for us or other things. Yeah, we might yeah. be migrating to YouTube. Oh, yeah, we were thinking about migrating to YouTube because. Or to Mixer, who knows? <laughs> what is that? I'm going to the, con to the direct. Competition. Yes. Um, yeah, that's really that's really a thing. We were writing with them, and then the first thing is, I write I wrote them that this is the thing that's not happening, the notifications, and they wrote us back, yeah, you have to go online, so the notification will appear. And I was like, no, this is exactly the problem. There are no notifi notifications of us mm -hmm. going online, even though we are online. I like how their how their uh, fix to this is: if you go online, you are online. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. No. We're not stupid. And then Twitch. And then they they sent sent us a, um, some kind of feedback email like, oh yeah, did we uh, figure out your problem? I was like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> what the hell, man? And I wrote them back. Uh, nothing changed. Like they didn't even uh, they like didn't read. Try. They didn't even try. Yeah, they didn't, didn't even, even fucking read the thing. I think they didn't them. even read read the email I've sent them. So. Yeah, if this if this um, is not changing, we will just switch to YouTube anyway. Mm -hmm. I think it's easy to just have everything on one on one thing, you know. Yeah, we know we all. Have it's a bit it's, it's a bit a bummer because too. we have like seven hundred followers on Twitch. It would be nice if if they will get like notifications. But I mean, yeah. Um, but it's it's cool that even though nobody gets notification, we still have like a. Like a pretty consistent following. <laughs> no, pretty consistent viewers. You know, yeah, yeah. we we have the mm -hmm. we have you guys. You're always there. <laughs> it's crazy, uh, which is super nice. So yeah, you just know that when we're going online, so that's super cool. I mean, technically, if people would check the Instagram, they would also see it. But maybe that's a bit too last minute. Maybe hmm? you know, because we're all, all like on the day of the stream, we're always doing an Instagram post and like story posts. Yeah. So technically, people would check there. They would see it, but still. Yeah. Uh, it's just a bummer that it's not happening. Oh, it's like, no, if your account is not even showing up in my channels that you're following, up. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. I have a Twitch uh, account as well, and I'm following Drink and Draw, and I can't even find it when we're online. Uh, when we're not online, then you can find the, <laughs> the channel. It's so weird. Um, yeah, so Tomovi says your account is the only one I have this issue with. Uh, it's almost what I have you tried deleting your current account and creating a new one? I'm not sure. But then we would lose all our followers. Yeah, then I think we just go over to YouTube because yeah. having that problem again that after deleting the, ch I mean. We just keep the card and then go over to YouTube, and that's that's I mean, the thing. Let's just, yeah. let's just pick this one. That's cool. That's kind of what I wanted to have. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a story post. <laughs> maybe someone did this in Tinsen. Rapka, maybe you could go live on Insta to announce it because then you would get a notification. Yeah, I mean, that's too much, you know? It's just too much. I mean, we want to keep it simple and not go crazy everywhere Instagram Facebook um, you know um, that's too much I just want to keep it you know discord and the streaming platform and that's it why doesn't this work it's weird why does not work the, the default thing why what's happening there's a selection somewhere yeah press just I have <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. I, I still have the legs selected. Yeah, the legs are still selected. <laughs> so Gnaf, yeah, I just joined the Discord to get the announcements there at least. Nice, uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Thanks for Thank joining. you for joining. 
Hey, also, I have to do my daily daily yeah. today Me and too. from yesterday actually. Daily, daily. So um, we're doing a daily challenge on Discord. If you want to join, it's it's. I think it's it's not a real time-consuming thing because it's only um, thumbnails yeah. and it's um, five minutes for each thumbnail. You can do Same five to five minutes actually, right? So you can yeah. make it shorter. Sorry. Right. Yeah. something I wanted to do. I just want to say females. Sorry. What? It's fine. No, it's all right. <laughs> I just want to say females. Okay, you did. I just want to say females. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> okay. By the way, guys, um, the reference that we're using is from Graphit Studio. And I mean, there's an announcement over the canvas, you see, you know, you can just type in um, photo pack and then you get a link to their gum road and you can get the packs. They're doing a lot of stuff. It's super nice. Mm -hmm. So have you played uh, Breath of the Wild? No. Okay. Great. You? Uh, I. I my brother set me in front of it for I think two hours. I played. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I like the format. I'm not a big fan of open world games. There's no plot connecting the dots, and there is is a plot, but it's not much of a plot. So I don't know I had no desire to finish it. Mm -hmm. But there's um, the Zoras in that game. I guess the Zoras back in back in the olden days of of a run of time also had that design principle. But basically. The design principle of these fish people is just to basically... Okay, so this is the principle. You have... Um, I'm not sure if this is on canvas right now. Just saying, because it's a bit up. <laughs> it's alright. It's not about the drawing anyway. I mean, yeah, I mean, but what Lars is doing right now, because he's drawing something for So we have this to see. human torso. Okay. I guess this entire human body almost, where okay, let's, let's get the legs in there too. And there's like a fish tail, so it's an actual. What? Yeah, they have a fish tail. Um, they have hands. That's also fine. They also have like, I guess, fins in their feet. And then the amazing thing is, the heads are basically also fish. Oh my god, I love it. That's yes. that's the Zora design. That is in Breath of the Wild. That is uh, it's perfect. It's something I could have come up with. I I'm, should have come up with. That's where I got the idea. Because I, I saw you draw the thing. And I thought, okay, that could actually be the head. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make the bird the head. Oh my god! That's, yeah, that's, that's my idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. So does it have wings as well, or just? Yes, okay. it will have wings. And the bird as the head. Yes. Okay. That sounds like some. Bricked up Photoshop collage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the reason well, I guess not the reason, but I'm 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 trying to argue this point because I want this channel to grow. Mm. I don't I don't mean to, to hurt you or dis discourage you from no, voicing your fine. opinions. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not hurt and or silenced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so same goes to you. I want to be convinced that, that this is this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I just think that I just I'm not fully convinced yet. That's, yeah, that's, that's okay. Hmm. I, I mean I understand. I think we can yeah, sorry, but I'm not opposed to trying things out. So I'm not going because I think this is this is the right way to do. I'm opposed to everything. Mm. Go ahead, Kevin. I think we can easily find something that we can marry both, actually, mm. um, because I do like mixing it up, um, but also like being consistent, you know. Mm. But I'm sure we can find a solution where we can mix it up and be consistent, you know? Yeah, I so think so too. We just have to discuss on that. Mm, I mean, yeah. yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Sorry. Um, one option, for example, like we already mentioned before, would be to always have some sort of 
live drawing or portrait reference and then just add something else to it if we want to with either a second reference or just from imagination so that people always have the chance and we can totally say that at the beginning of the stream as well like okay listen so you can just do the, the normal uh, life drawing it's totally fine and you know we got awesome references from graffiti studio for example um, but if you want to um, you know mix it up a little bit for tonight you can also join us for this random stuff and even if you boys for example are not feeling like doing the challenge for the night you could totally also go for the more like anatomical approach mm -hmm. And I could just do the challenge, or whatever, you know, whatever we feel like. Did you see what I just did? What did you just do? I just, I just set my, um, where is it? <laughs> my eraser as my brush. Matrix. So now I have, I have my, my, my thingamajig brush as my eraser. Isn't that amazing? Damn. That's Isn't pretty. that amazing? <laughs> That's why I have two, by the way. One is one is one is an actual brush with ah, settings. Okay. So actually, right now I have a eraser, but if I select um, this one, I believe it's a brush. Also, that's almost night black. But if I select this one, this I can I can make an eraser. If I pick eraser, I already is that. But look at the size. Ten. Back to the original selection. Magical. It's amazing. So I can I actually have all of these brushes. Oh, oops, almost all of them as my uh, eraser. I just have one question really, why aren't you not using the hard round brush eraser all the time? Because right now, well if you look at if you look at this, this is the best drawing brush. Mm -hmm. Actually says so, like both of these yeah. are. It's standing right there. Yeah. Why would you But wait, are you, that? are you implying that the best drawing brush is also the best eraser? Because those are two different pairs of shoes. I, oh I, I yes. think so, um, it's just she that they're, they're like two parts of the same coin hmm. in a way and while it might not be the best eraser um, mm -hmm. which if you go through here you will not find the best eraser but I feel like that's a good way to find in the second best one mm. so because if you I'm want to find the best sprinter you know, the best sprinter is also going to be like a really good long distance runner I doubt that I doubt that as well the I muscles are completely different <laughs> the sprinting muscles are completely like explosive and, and like moment, short term. <laughs> and the muscles of like a marathon, <laughs> they're just like, you know. So I jog a lot. Mm -hmm. and actually, I know that Usain Bolt doesn't do half marathons, but I'm pretty sure he would, he would run longer than that. Mm. Oh, bad example. But if you have something that's like a similar <laughs> task or related to the same task, I think yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Like too late. No, no, no. Gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I will argue for the round brush being <laughs> just the best eraser, usually. Oh my god, oh that's my terrifying. Oof. Love it. I think, no, this, this is not quite where I wanted to be. I wanted to be more obvious what's happening. Oops. Oh, maybe, maybe that one, wait. That bump here this is the, the, the chest, right? Or that could be the chest. Yeah. Oh. The last thing that bugs me with the setup is that for some reason I can't use the brush bigger, smaller thing with the eraser. Mm. Always does the brush. Mm. The Captain Koshna, I 100% disagree. <laughs> His sprinters sprint really do have different muscle anatomy, different cells, if I remember my studies correctly. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a part of the... Uh, the muscle anatomy. It's not like yeah, they have a completely different anatomy, but you can recruit different. <laughs> yeah. like, like They're not humans anymore. <laughs> some percentage of the, the muscles in your in your body have mm. different kind of um, have different different purposes. You know? yeah, it's yeah. different it, training. It's like it's like saying bodybuilders are just the best boulderers, just they have a lot of muscle, and we all mm. know that's probably not true, because they're just so used to doing different motions with their muscle, and they're like focused on hypertrophy and not on like. I don't know, um, endurance or mm. strength necessarily. Yeah. I'm so proud that I know the word hypertrophy. Mm. Sorry, just wanted to point that out. <laughs> this is the first time I actively used it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the small things. Also, isn't it a completely different technique? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah. what are you referring to? I yeah. think the sprinting versus the mm -hmm. long, long runs. How dare you say that? Have you seen? I don't. Gigi Mufu, yeah. On the wall, he's good. Marcus. <laughs> oh, okay. Marcus Mitbo. 
nothing compared to Juju Mufu. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that actually? Marcus Mitko. It's an R. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, Juji Mufu is like a huge pack of muscles mm -hmm. who's still able to do backflips and all that stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. quite crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, I'm not implying that anything is better or worse than the other. It's just completely different, yeah. as with a lot of things. But it looks super cool. I don't know. Yeah. And also, uh, you, the neck, the the, um, what's it called? Oh my god, the spine. It feels like it's going through yeah. there. So that's why it kind of it kind of fits. Mm -hmm. you know? Super cool. It super looks cool. like something from this. Uh, what's it called? What's this super famous painting called? <laughs> Where it's just like hell. The dude is just depicting hell, and it's just so weird. Mm. <laughs> uh, Do you know which one I mean? The garden there, the garden of. It's so famous. It's like a triptychon. Tri like uh, th from the Greek mythology. No. The garden of Good and Evil, or something it's called. I think. Hieronymus Bosch. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the one. Is uh, it? You meant the painter, the artist. Yeah, and ah, his okay. most famous yeah, painting, yeah, okay. the isn't it called the Garden of good and evil or something like that um, where there are just these super weird creatures doing all kinds of naughty things and nasty things and it's like Berlin yeah <laughs> it's like Berlin he did hell in paradise yeah. he did hell paradise yeah is what's the thing called and purgatory that's right hell paradise and purgatory mm -hmm. that's the name no, it's not the yeah, name. Everyone's, but that's a super. That's that looks like a really juicy eye, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Fake eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember Leonardo when he was still in Berlin did some sort of project or painting related to that painting. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. wait, remember? that was uh, yeah. that was in the IC as well when we talked with when we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, true. I remember. That's a freaking cool bird. I love it. Yeah, it's super nice, Lars. <laughs> uh, I feel like this, this could be... There are sculptures from the paradise part in Pritzagarten. Oh, really? Where's Pritzagarten? Pritz is in Neukölln, but just like very far to the... S east, to the west. Mm, yeah, okay, okay. So this is Neukölln and then Pritz is somewhere like... I think I know who it's a is actually. Who is it? I think it? I know who it is. Who I is won't it? tell you. Can you tell? Can you whisper in my ear? No. Why not? Oh, maybe I'm not. I'm not right. Oh no! And how terrible would that be? <laughs> but no, no, no. You don't. Never. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you know Juju Mufu and Marcus Mitbrot, Magnus <gasps> Magnus Mitbrot. Mitbrot? Is it? No, no, it's not Ola, no. No, it's not Ola. Who's a boulderer? Insert. That joke. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know who that is. <laughs> <gasps> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hmm? Can I whisper in your ear? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. <gasps> I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> it's I know where your house lives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where his house lives. Yeah. I just know. Ah. Cool that you came by. Super nice. Thanks for joining. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm easy to see through. Well, I mean, you since you're in the bowling crew. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so cool, man. cool. It could yeah. be. A, it should be a statue somewhere. It, oh, it could be a. I want to draw now as well. <laughs> too, too late. late. Yeah. Um, it's so cool. It could be a. What's it called? Like a. It's like a. They just attach two things. Actually, actually um, I could imagine. It could be on the. Uh, sorry, on the front of a ship. Galleon's figure. Now you go. Always breaking me up. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. I'm so sorry. Breaking. I'm breathing in. <laughs> there, there's, there's one that's just called I'm breaking in. <laughs> it's amazing. It's just. Oh. And so, wait, what's going on? I'm breaking. And then you just hear the sound of glass shattering. <laughs> 
I'm <laughs> breaking bones and you're no 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 and then it's just like a home invasion. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, there's been a. It's a bit like the Rolls Royce figurine. Oh yeah. But more fun. It's reminiscent of the spirit of ecstasy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be. I could really imagine this hanging in some museum because mm. it's so simple. It's like black and white. It's like a very artsy, breaststrokey. Love it. Mm -hmm. I could see it as being carved in marble or not. carved. Yeah, carved. It could be a huge like sculpture. Oh my god! It could be golden. No, um, it's it has to be marble. Okay. Yeah, it has to be marble, and some su subsurface scattering from the light because marble is a bit translucent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that would be cool. Let's like pitch this to some mar marble. Mm. You just need to pitch it to like a bank whenever they have too much money and need to oh, buy. Yeah. Some. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean. A bank does not have money, they just keep it. Which... But they also have it. It's not their money, right? It's not their money, but they're getting parts of it right now. Yeah, true. Weird concept. Weird concept, indeed. Might be the R business. How much time do we have? I don't know. <gasps> Wait, like, ta three minutes. Three minutes, minutes oh, damn. You're already done. You're already done, man. You can start with colors now. Three minutes in. We can start with colors. <laughs> <laughs> They get paid with money to have the money. Yeah, it's weird, but it's okay. Oh, it's kind of like like a like a uh, Thanos meme situation. I use the money to make the money. Mm. <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes, I guess. And multiply it in a very non-shady way. Yeah. Very not shady. Very not shady indeed. <sighs> I guess I can do something. So if you wanna, if you drew with us, mm -hmm. you can put your stuff into Discord. I know I've made this announcement a few times already, um, can you see the but like, um, like 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 so. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, we're oh. going through the sketches and react to it, um, and you know just appreciate that you drew with us. Mm -hmm. Actually. Oh yeah. Um, I think this could be more. Do you think it's appropriate to make one gum road? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, do it. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So if you want to support this stream in a monetary way, you can totally check out our gum road. Um, and there we have three, I think, three photo packs by now that you can purchase. And it just helps us maintain the stream and drink and draw. And if you like what we're doing and enjoy our faces and bodies, for that <laughs> matter, uh, you can totally check it out. Thank you, but you don't totally don't have to, and uh, you know, disclaimer, you don't have to, you know, whatever. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's nice. Yes, thank you, Natalie. Yes. Lars, can we see the bird again, please? I think I... Oh, yeah, oh. that's okay. already adjusted. I think I did. Damn, that's super cool. Also a bit creepy. Looks okay. like she was just, you know, jumping into the air, and then this bird, bird like came and and l ate her head. No, no. Imagine, you know, the She's head is actually dead right now. The head is still inside the bird. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's she is just coming out of the bird. So he's the just, bird is laying. He's just all oh, an egg, you know. Yeah. Okay. That's like um, <laughs> it's like a human centipede kind of oh situation. <laughs> the sweating. The sweat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No. What just happened? <laughs> uh, true. I love it. Uh, uh, Time's up. All right, guys. But this is more fun. It is done. It is done. We are done. Kind of want to nice. Pretty. Very nice, last. Very nice. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. 
So let's just have some. It's so two. cool that you actually combined drawing and painting in this one. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. That's uh, super nice. Put your on. Okay. All right. Uh, put, put, I put think this is my favorite picture <laughs> from all the streams. Oh yeah, maybe you can zoom them. out a bit. And I think we did already 100 streams. Nah. Okay, no, maybe 50. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. It just feels like I. What I hate about it is that it still looks like it's two things. Just yeah. You no, know, there's no. But the transition is always the weirdest, awkwardest part. It works. It's like oh, Very that's gentle. weird. Oh. Now it looks like the wing kind of is her neck. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's get the the squad. Well, actually, let's like spend one more minute here, and then people have time to upload Oops. some stuff. Oh, no. It'll be fine. Oh. Nice. Maybe we can look through the pictures one more time. I really yes. enjoy that. So. Well, that's that 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 is one. And that then was yeah, the other. Mm -hmm. that's so cool. It's also nice. Looks like a flamenco. Uh, a a a Cree a Cree. The Northern Cree, you know, they do doing those uh, dances with with a lot of feathers mm. and like it's a bird dance, I think. Mm -hmm. um, kind of looks like that. Mm. I have a picture in mind where, where a person is doing that. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Nice. I need my <laughs> my uh Oh. Mm -hmm. That is that is one. Mm -hmm. Methyl orange. Wow, so nice. Yes, yeah. indeed. Oh, why doesn't that work? Oh, that nice. is that is the other. <laughs> <laughs> so You're I welcome. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a new person here. <laughs> he looks like he's like, uh, can I join the party? Uh, uh, Hi, no can man. You, can you come over? I would like to eat your eyeballs. <gasps> oh wait, <can laughs> I really enjoy those. You have two of them. Can I have just the one? Oh, please. <laughs> oh my god. Can I eat your eyeballs? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and again. He runs like 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 a diver. Oh my he's god! He has to lift his <laughs> legs really really high, so it like is. No. Oh my god, that's so I horrifying. Just really want to give him red speedos. No. May I please have your eyeball? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why is the brush so tiny? You need to upload the pictures too. Yeah. Um, we never do it. We do it. Yeah, we can do it after the stream there yeah, for sure. <sighs> because. The reason why we never do it is because we're actually planning to work on them for a bit more and then we never do that and then we never upload them. See what happens here? It's a vicious cycle. Oh, I still have coffee! Oh, yeah, coffee. So There's still coffee. It's so amazing. Caffeine free. Amazing. Like, uh, that's awesome. I mean, he has a story. I can't really imagine a story with I don't that like guy. the story. <laughs> I feel like he looks like a... Um, He's a character, A yeah? Bademeister, you know? He's mm. like a mm. safety guard on the beach. Mm. No? No, he, he looks like more... Um, like, um, <laughs> can I have your eyeballs? <laughs> yeah, it's just, just. All right, he's and different. <laughs> find someone drowning. You bring them back to shore, and uh, should you fail at your CPR efforts, can I have their eyeballs? <laughs> they don't so require weird. them anymore. <laughs> I would like these eyeballs. Yeah, and she's, I don't know, man. She's a, she's a doctor. Yeah. Oh. I had her eyeballs already. <laughs> <laughs> no eyeballs anymore. <laughs> You're too late. Oh man. I will not be giving them back. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> All mine. Mm. What's his name? I feel like his name is like Bert. Albert. Yeah. Albrecht. Yeah, this is super cool. All right, guys and girls and non-binary fellows. Fellows, uh, we take a look at that. Discord. Is it on screen? And Discord. Is it on screen? No, not Basically. right now because I didn't want to show oh, much pornography. Um, <laughs> oh, you didn't hear that, right? Mm, where, where is it? <laughs> it's all the not safe work servers that Kevin is in. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. We have to pay attention to that, right? To what? To the, you know, the references. We have the references <laughs> um, in the Discord. Just you know, it could be that there's something that is not good for. Or Twitch to show. True, but we're not. But we're not there, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Discord. Discord. Okay, wait. Time. Away. I feel like I feel like image th that person country. would be an amazing Twitch emote. Ref. And away. Discord emote. Think we're good on that. Away. I have your That's away. 
quick pixels away and then why is discord always like this bam here we go are we there oh yes now here we, we are just need to get archer stream archer dropped oh my god oh, nice. Ooh, oh, oh yes thank you That's oh my awesome. god why i do love it <laughs> We should, we should have put like oh, a like so cool. all reference up, I feel like. We, there, uh, there was a we, do, we do have. Here. We have a plenty of all references. I know, we didn't. We didn't use it. Yeah, we didn't yeah, use we it. We didn't use it. There were a lot, a lot of references. We could do it again someday. That's super cool. It looks so cool, Owl. Oh my god, I love him. Yeah, he looks he looks, he looks looks more like the person you like. Um, Eileen's is, could be in the in between, you know? <laughs> could be creepy. Mine is just a bit ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes! It's ambiguous about wanting animals! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's cool to see like how you uh, interpret um, the ideas as well. Mm -hmm. oh, and I go with, with oh. the Eileen ideas. Cool to see like variations of that. It's Look at cool. the juicy butt. Mm. <laughs> Lars is just, you know... <laughs> there he is again. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that is super creepy. Look at him. Oh, he's an emotion. She's running. She's, in, she's, she's running for she's you now. Running, yeah. 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 You know what time it is? It is eyeball o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then the bare feet on concrete. Yeah. Oh my god, that is horrifying. Oh, oh man, yeah. we have to work out that idea. It's so cool. <laughs> the worst character. Somehow this thing ends up being like the drink and drum mascot. Yeah. <laughs> People dress up at yeah. it during yeah, conventions. Okay. That would be so cool. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. That's a that's a catchphrase. That's so yeah. Cool. <laughs> Super nice. The that worst era. Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also super nice to work with different colors. Yeah. I mean, you could combine <laughs> red and blue. <gasps> blue tends to be a bit more darker than red. I mean, blue colors, right? That do seem a bit darker. Maybe so you can use that as shading in red, more like a mid-tone. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Oh, oh, no. oh my god, Mutia. Awesome. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's super cool. That's a really cool design on the left. I really like that one. Yeah. Oh it. man, the shiny eyeball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eyeball. Did Eyeball. you just say my favorite word? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear it? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Uh, that's Ooh. awesome. Ooh, that's the kind of shape design oh, I want in the shape. Know, yeah, the no, shape no, no. design is super Drink cool. Take it again, please. Uh, that should be on the on the Euro, on the German Euro. Yeah. yeah. Instead of the boring <laughs> little yeah. bird that's on bird the that's oh. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, we want this one. Ooh. I was a bit afraid of the bird elements. Oh, that's yeah. okay. That's okay. That's what we mean, you know, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You that's can just do the normal thing. And that's then how I did my fairies. Yeah. I just drew women in armor and did like a couple lines and then pretended it's wings. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Elisa a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks nice. so graceful. Yeah. With the, with Super the nice. Elegant. Super nice, Repka. Nice, Repka. Nice. Loved mm. it. Ooh. See, that's... Nice. that's also, the connection here, the, the connection mm -hmm. of this is super nice. Very cool. nice. Very cool. Oof. Ooh, look at that. Kreshab. Boy, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> nice. Love to hear that. That's oh a God. cool that's a cool uh, composition. I nice really like idea. It. And the wings yeah. coming out of the chest, which is amazing. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even see it can. now. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming for you. He looks like the granddad yeah. of Bert. Yeah, true. Yeah. He's like more bird. Yeah. Mm. And then like, I don't know. His wife was like a human or whatever. They tried hiding eyeballs in high places. <laughs> <laughs> I evolved. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so Angry cute. Birds. That's so oh, cute. That's really cute. Oh my god. I kind of like to read this wing as a crown. Yeah, yeah me yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cute. Aww, oh, graceful. damn, nice. Very grateful. Love it's it. actually an interesting idea to kind of... I wish I could have played with that. that yeah. Yeah. Imagine being being kind of like a like a sugar glider, mm. where your your entire wing is like from from the tips of your fingers to mm. your feet to your oh toes. Yeah. Mm. Oh. This could have been interesting, like seeing the wing extend all the way down. Mm. That's super nice. That reminds me of the one drawing you did of me once with our other stream reference mm. thing. Where yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Steven. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Yeah. Awesome, Steven. You're outing him right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. Super cool. Super cool. Very nice. Yeah, See, simple. and people can still just do the anatomy and have fun with it. And it's totally cool. Simple design, shapes, super nice. Nice, nice Steven. Cool. That you joined. Very cool. Wow, nice. 
She looks fierce. Oh my god. I, I, yeah, that, that's that's the perfect blank. I had didn't have time to draw the face, and it's 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 immediate interest. You no. Know? Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. If you can't make it, uh, what it's what is the thing the things uh, Bio the saying. thing saying? <laughs> Bio saying. Good yeah, if you can't make it look pretty, make it look extra ugly. But I don't think this it's is not ugly. ugly. Yeah, but it's it's no, make it look funny. Yeah, it, make it look funny. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to say. It's and not ugly, but you can just make it a statement. You know, mm. uh, if you don't have time. I really the emotion, like the, sh the, the shapes on that face. That's a really appealing shape. Yeah, true. And the emotion reads perfectly. Also, this like you mean nice. there or here? Yeah, there. there. On the on the nice tumbleweed. Nice. That's okay because brain. Too much. Absolutely. Yes. That's no. Nice, nice, nice guys, girls, and everyone in between. Um, thank you for coming to our stream. I think that covers everything. Right? Yeah. Thank you for coming to our stream and for coming. yeah. So every Thursday at 7 p.m. Berlin time. That's always the time. That's um, 7 p.m. in Berlin. Yeah, very uh, Berlin centric. We are. Um, <laughs> We have the stream, and you can join us. And uh, we're going to announce the probably the next topic in Discord or yeah, we can Instagram, make whatever. We can either again, or we just decide. Like, yeah, the three of totally. us. I mean, I'll watch, watch them draw me with them, and then see if we get inspired by. Them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for joining. It was a pleasure. It was so much fun. Um, and oh yeah, wait. Mm. Go already. Go up account. I'm studying Elisa. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm studying Elisa for days. Yeah, we oh saw God. that. Yeah, it works. Got her art book. Nice. It shows a bit. It shows. Cool. I got her book too. Yeah. Haven't opened it yet, though. No, no time. Looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's a, it's a Gnarv. Yes, I'm, I'm a dungeon master. I commit. I, I need, to, you need to commit. It's important. Yeah, she got a big um, section about that. It's not important time. at all. Mm -hmm. uh. Thank you for streaming. It's always a ton of fun. Thank you for joining. Ooh. We only do it because you like it. I mean, we're also enjoying it, but it's <laughs> so much more fun when you're interacting with us. It's a gnar of setting myself a reminder and outlook now. Thank oh, you. yes. I mean, Twitch is just not, you know. I'm going to see you. Yeah, see you, Natalie, on the boat maybe or in the next stream. Yeah. Uh, thank you for hosting. Now, who still needs to do the daily challenge? as well I me to do it. yes yeah thanks for streaming i expect you to act the part on the wall next time we see each <laughs> other than lars <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> wait one more okay no, no. Uh. yeah yeah, um, yeah. We, we're gonna post our art today yeah, 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 yeah. We I, do, I, we do. I do want to make like channel emails for Discord based on that character. I don't know what they would imply. <laughs> oh my god! It's just eyeball a clock. It's just the it, emote of the face. It's eyeball a clock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. great. All right, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. Thank See you. See you. Same eyeball time. Same eyeball channel. <laughs> <laughs> Boy.